That's how we do it in my garden.
Hello there, my lumpies and germs. How are we doing today? My name is Scott Campbell. I'm the art director of Psychonauts, and I'm also the lead designer named Eric Robson. How are we doing in the chat today? We are going to be playing some more Psychonauts. We are going to be doing some more cleaning up, 100%ing, all that stuff. How are we doing? Hey, Simon Vegeta, how are you doing? Uh, oh, we've had a subscription from Spirited Demon and Kimari97810. Thank you. Inflim kicked off with 200 bits 10 minutes ago. The nutcase. Hey, Caddy and family. Hope you have a good stream. Did I tell you I bought a useless thesaurus the other day? Not only is it terrible, it's also terrible. That was an awful joke. Oh, my God, dude. Look, it was so bad I've now lost the menu. Where's the menu? Oh, there it is. I always lose the menu. I've just got to remember, if the title is here... The menu's down here. I just need to remember that. Where's continue? There it is. Awesome. How are we doing, guys? We all okay? Oh, we've got a few um first-time streamers in here. Nice to see you. Um, hopefully, I don't completely disappoint you. It's good that you're here now, though, because um, That's when do it as I was garden. learning more about the process of streaming, we've had some bad ones, but I think we've pretty much leveled it all out now. Penguin of the Night, thank you for the subscription. Yeah. So, if you were following on from last time, we have just... um freed the milkman from his milky abyss and he's about to um burn this building down that he was asked to guard by not surprisingly the guy that trained us at the beginning of the game who looked evil oh is this a secret oh i just did a secret thank you Likar rook for the 100 bits here are my stream bits needed cheering up today so here i am lol oh it's okay what does lol mean laugh un no that's lol L lol not lol, lol. Oh, we're free. Maybe? I, I'm not sure. I can't quite hear you, Raz. Speak up. That's how we do it in my garden. An excellent find. A fellow cadet's brain. If you take it back to Ford Cruller at the recranialization, um, your total mental health potential will be increased. Ah, okay, so now we can... That's how we do it in my garden. Now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. No. <laughs> no, I meant I Thank you, Lord so Michael, for the subscription and how the resub from Kit Miners. Oh, and the resub from Jake Bellamy well, as well. Thank you so much. Come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente. Isn't al dente an orange juice drink? Oh, that's Del Monte, isn't it? Oh, I was close. I was close. I was close. I was in the right ballpark, yeah. Yeah, no, I know chat. I know lol means laugh out loud, but I meant lul, L-U-L. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Laughing underneath lumps? Is that lul? Oh, you found my old trophy. Yeah, it was just sta it was just there. Somebody hurts themselves. Harper Onions, hey, howdy, hey, Caris, Caddy and fam. How are you doing, Harper? Nice to see you. 150 bits there. Would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Are you trying to take it? Because you don't think I deserve it. No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey. What? You're supposed to be dead. Oh, God. <laughs> So am I, I'm guessing I'm not going in there, is my assumption. Maybe. So I can't pick that up. Can I go this way? Yeah, we can. Kit Miner's 100 bits. All right. Hey, Caddy. Haven't seen the stream in a while, so I thought I'd call in. Hope you've had a good day. I have, thank you. How's your day been? Can I break all your pots? You don't seem to care about that. That's fine. Oh, God. No, I don't want to... No, don't go to a new area. I haven't explored around here yet. Oh, fuck. Wait, don't listen to him. Retreat. I was just Shut seeing what... The battle is ours. Wellington is on the run. This is our moment of glory. Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't mm. be won. We're going to lose it. I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now, see... You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. <laughs> Thank you, Classy One, for 100 bits. Hey, Caddy Karras, I'm afraid I can't stick around tonight, which sucks, but I'll make sure to catch it on VOD. All the best to you and the family. Love you lots, dude. You too, Classy. Nice to see you again. VOD, honey, is viewing, viewing on demand. So, YouTube. 
Okay, so um, obviously we're gonna have to jump into her. Oh, you're back to take away everything I've worked for. I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, it's back to normal. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, let's go this way then, because I think this wasn't supposed to be an area I found just yet. I kind of smashed around and then found it accidentally. Maybe we gotta let the milkman blow up the asylum before we do anything. I don't know. Let's um, let's find out. Oh, brain in a jar. Nice. GT's brain? How'd this little doggy get out of the pen? Ah, oh dear. Right. Let's find what we can find. Which is hopefully more mines. Heal. I love to have a little good rhyme. Yep. And then Karis will tell me to shut up in time. No, I need to keep the Oh, you only like. Yeah, okay, you like the rhyming, it's the stupid noises you don't like. Ah, Sonic Wolf, thanks for the $38.56 donation. Goodness. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. That's just going to get in the way, isn't it? But thank you. Good morning from Australia. I work nights, so I'm off to bed, but I never miss a video or VOD. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that I stream at such an awkward time for you. Oh, God, I put my watch in water mode. No, I didn't want to do that. Thank you. Um, Yeah. There we go. That's that's shut up now. But thank you so much for coming down either way. And I'm showing your support. And the, the ad, like always, this will be on VOD soon. How are you doing, Boyd? Is your milk still delicious? How are you doing? Hey Boyd, why are you trying to burn down the asylum? Oh, he's really, he's really not happy. But then if my sheriff's badge had stretched out to cup my entire tit, I think I wouldn't be very happy either. What's with him? Throw it. I am the milkman. <laughs> my milk is delicious. My employer oh. has commissioned me to deliver this milk to whitewash what went on here. Ah, so, okay, so it was imperative that we freed the milkman, not just because he was he was being forced to guard this area, but also because he kind of knows he should burn I'm it down. Sure no evidence is left of I guess that's Oleander's fault for hiring a pyromaniac, I, I suppose. Rest until I have made my final delivery. Why isn't he making it then? Oh, I'm, I'm beyond questioning at this that's point. How we do it in anyway, thank you so much, Manga King, for the 100 bits. Hey, Caddy, welcome to the next three levels. Do you, Karis and the Gods, have any favourite cartoon shows? That's how I'm we also do it in um, coming from New York, so it's only five in the afternoon when your stream starts. That was what I was about to say to Sonic Wolf, unfortunately, who has just gifted five subs. Goodness gracious, thank you so much. But yeah, like, I know, like, it's. It, the, the time kind of sucks for people in the in UK. Um, yeah, the time kind of sucks for people in the UK because it's kind of late. Um, it's great for That's people in the US in um, because it's kind of afternoon, late afternoon -y time. Um, and for Australians, obviously, it's like first thing in the morning. So it's it, it. I mean, you can't you can't ever get it perfect, can you? Oh Jesus! Oh, I forgot I can levitate. Sorry, guys. This is this is what happened. I don't play games all the time. This is what you need to understand. I work most of the time, so I just need to re get what I what I've lost. Right. Sorry, my favourite cartoon. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Um, I don't really do cart. I, I don't. I don't actively look for cartoons. I just hear. Like, I just hear. If something good, then great. Like cartoon for me is a style, much like just like horror or whatever. Like I don't look at them in that in that way. I don't look at them like, oh, cart like this cartoon. I, I just look at it as a show that just so happens to be a cartoon. What's yours, honey? I mean, I have got a few if you're gonna if I want to categorize, but yeah, what's yours, honey? League of Super Evil. I love it. League of Super Evil? Yeah. I've never heard of it. Well, what is it? It's just a funny yeah, but on what like what year? Like when? Oh, well, it was on um, CBBC. Hmm. Uh, um, eight years ago. Eight years ago on CBBC. I don't. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's jump in your head. Come on. An old Cartoon Network show, someone said in the chat. Yeah, okay. Mm. Um, yeah, okay, well, as far as, like, classic cartoons go, I was always a fan, and I still am, of, like, and when I say Looney Tunes, I mean classic Looney Tunes. I'm talking, like, the 40s, 40s, 50s era. Um, that stuff is incredible. I love it. Um... I, I, I'm not a big fan of the new stuff, to be perfectly honest with you, but yeah, that's just that's just my personal taste. But yeah, that immediately sticks out to me. 
But I also really, really love Rugrats. I really love Rugrats. Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself Master in Doom Sam has 100 bits. Have you found the hidden cow level in the milk on his head? There, no, there is no cow level. I'm making a joke. I like how you had to say that because I wouldn't have got the joke otherwise. So, well well, well done, dude. You, you, you did it. Well done. <laughs> I will check his head early next, though. Thank you, Siphon5, for the subscription. Oh, it's the farting willy, honey. There it is. Just in time. Right, so now we've got, like, crowds full of people, which does mean, lo lovingly enough, that does mean we've got, um, groups of, um, we've got clumps, haven't we? We've got clumps of, um, figments to grab, so at least if there are a lot of figments in this, er um, this area, 111, yeah, we'd probably be, we we we'll clean these up in no time at all, he says. Long longingly and hopefully and <laughs> optimistically um yeah it probably won't take as long as we think it might because there seems to be lots of these guys clumped together um but then we've got the ones that float around and go into the middle of the oh Um, and I still didn't get any while I was doing that, so sorry about that. Oh yeah, sorry for the state of my hair as well. It's been hot today for some baffling... I think this is the hottest September I've ever lived through in this country. It has been ridiculous. It's been hotter than most of the days we had in, like, July and August, so God knows what that's all about. Oh, this noise is not pleasant. When can we... Yep, yeah, that's another one. Oh. Why do they have to clip through the floor? Okay, right. One. Oh, there's another one? It is a really awful noise. Uh, I'll try levitating, see if I can... No, that's the wrong button. Uh, where are you? Where are you? That's how we do it. In oh my, my god. Garden. There this is a nightmare. That's how we Come do on. it. Come on, got you. Garden. Got you, got you. Right now there's just that one over here. I just need to wait here. Abyss Ray, thank you for the 1000 bits. Hope you're having fun with the game. Enjoy the stream. Sad I've missed the Millic Man. Well, they're on my Twitch channel for a limited time and they're going to be forever on my um, YouTube channel, my second one, Caddy Plays. So go and check it out. Got it. Right. I think that's all of them. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Right. Let's go for a little wobble around, see what we can find. Oh, yeah. The, I think these are going to be kind of small levels. They feel like it. Like they're, they're just kind of spamming figments everywhere. If there's only 111 in here, which is a small amount for this game, then... But then that maybe that's just for this area. Oh, God. Oh, here's a fun game. What's a figment and what's the stage prop? Oh, Jesus Christ. Suitcase tag, we know where the bag is. Great, okay. Alright, you're over there. Oh, we've got one of you over there. Oh, and Abyss Ray, thank you for the gifted subs. I'm doing um doing good Zian Ziangu, I think that says. How are you doing? Oh. Hello. Do I have to put this away? Looks like it needs a candle to work. Okay, so we need to use um, pyrokinesis. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna swap my. M okay, do you know what I'm gonna do? Because this feels more natural to me. I'm gonna use levitation on the right trigger, um, pyrokinesis on the right button. There we go. Or not? What's oh? What's that in the corner? What was that? What 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 was that? Was that a bug? What the fuck was that? Oh. It's there again. What is it? Well, move over. Where is it? I can't see it. There's like a little red... Yeah, what's that on the on the right? It's only when I'm using pyrokinesis. 
Obviously, I don't think it's working, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm doing first. But that's weird. Ah, this is gonna be a cinch to complete, he says. Ah, God. Okay, right. Let's get the cobweb duster out. Anything down there? Nope. Okay. Oh, that's at the candle. No, it's my ammo up, which is useful, but it doesn't really help me right now. So fuck off. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's the it's the heckler. Okay, right. A lot of cobwebs here. Um. Hmm. Okay. Let's jump up here. Oh, have I got your tag? Yes, I do. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Fun Boringness, for letting me know that was a bug. I probably would have gone insane trying to f figure out what that was. Okay, I didn't think I would grope him with a long, dangly arm. What the fuck? I was just trying to interact with him, not tickle him. <laughs> hmm, okay. Okay, clairvoyance isn't working anywhere. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's, there's Keris laughing for the rest of the night. It is a good noise, to be fair, yeah. I need a candle for there. Any more figments hiding around here? No? Okay. Let's carry on, then. Let's go Let's go down to backstage, then. Exit stage left. Here we go. <laughs> Excuse me while I grind on the wood. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, no, I need that again. Thank you, Porkins, for 100 bits. Hey, Caddy, watching the stream again with my wife. Couldn't be more excited. Have a great stream. Glad to be back. Thank you so much. Oh, I just saw in the chat they're asking about my hair growth. I've been growing it since the start of lockdown. So this is, um, this is, yeah, set six, seven months worth of growth. I'm still not happy with the fringe. The fringe still needs to grow a little bit more, but it's getting there. I want to be able to tie it back, especially in the heat. Okay, so we need to be invisible, don't we? I think. Hmm, let's 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 try it. Put it on the left button. Hey, we're in. Oh, is that what you're supposed to look like? God, what happened? Oh god, everything here looks like a figment. Oh god, there's figments on the dressing table. Now Raz is grinding on the perfume. The fuck? Help me! What is going on? Raz, come on. You can't, you can't, you can't grind. Was that your voice? Hey, watch it or I'll call security. Okay, it is. But that doesn't sound like the same voice that's crying. Oh, I'm really, really confused. Okay, wait, put this in. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself. Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? <laughs> I'm kind of busy here. Yeah, who is that so crying? Who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. <laughs> They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you Giggity. getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Who, who remembers the classic cartoon character Quagmire from Family Guy? Class classic to television Listen, there. The burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Yeah, can we get you on stage anyway? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work, but you'll need a candle. Don't know where it is. Uh, I think Thank you. Problem solved. Spare. In the storeroom, if you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not Unfortunately, everybody left. 
I kind of well, they either left or I ate them. I don't know what you do with figments. You just kind of you just kind of digest them, I guess. I don't know. No, but I'm about to. So five minutes, Miss Soleil. Thanks, Sunny. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now where was I? Okie dokie, off we go. Into the storeroom. Oh, we've got, um... Are they repressed? I've forgotten what they were called. Are they repressed memories or just, like, protected memories? Like, I've forgotten what they... They had, they had a technical term. I can't remember what they called them, though. Okay, I'm guessing they're going to want me to climb all the way up. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So if I, um, just grab the vault while I can... Right, what's going on in this vault? Gloria's Cruel Training. Hagatha, home for girls. <laughs> Hagatha, that's great. Well, I mean, it's not great. It's quite sad. I'm sorry. I'm. It's a serious moment. It's a serious, serious character arc moment. I need to be more serious. So she's taken away by, I'm assuming, Hagatha. She's whipped into doing ballet. Was your were your ballet lessons like this, honey? Were they? Oh, yeah. yeah, whips. Now, that's not a mask on the girl at the far left. That's just the mouse. For some reason, it still thinks that I'm using a PC keyboard. I'm not. I'm using I'm using a controller. But, you know, what can you do? Oh, Fontils, thanks for 400 bits. Hi, Caddy. Been watching since 2015, and I've always loved them. Anyway, what are your biggest hopes and worries and predictions for PS5 or Xbox Series X as well? Have a good, have a good night. PS, sorry if you saw this message before. I didn't know how bit donations worked. LMAO. Oh, it's okay. Um... I've got nothing, I've got no expectations or hopes for the Xbox because I haven't followed Xbox at all um, since the original one. Um, I didn't even follow the 360. I love it now, but back in the day I didn't. I've just never been into the Xbox exclusives. But PS5, I haven't really got any, I just want to know what it costs. I haven't really got any hopes really. Everything everything out of the gate that we saw on that first stream, I'm, I'm cool with. Um, so that's all I really care about, honestly. Maybe some more remasters. Or like collections of classic PlayStation franchises. That would be cool. Sly game, maybe? New Sly? That would be cool. Um, so, you're whipped into dancing. You're whipped into singing. You're whipped into watching. You're whipped into wearing. You're whipped into... No, you're, whi you're whipped into... I don't even know. So it's just, whi yeah, just, just whipping for a... Whip, whipping while pretending to be a dog. Whipping what? Uh, it's just whipping. It's just whipping. Jeez. Poor Gloria. And after watching Madagascar, I never thought I'd say those words. Ah, oh, sweet. Ah, we got them reignited. Like me and... Re reunited, I said. I didn't say reignited. Harper Engines, 150 bits. Did you go back and 100% Milkman? Also, will, will you be getting Crash 4? Well, the second question is a little bit stupid, isn't it? Of course I'm getting Crash... What do you think I am? I'm the big boy Banuka Bingo birthday boy, Harper. Um, but yeah, no, I am getting Crash 4, obviously. I'm going to be streaming it. Still debating if I'm going to do a video on it. Um, but for the first question, I haven't 100 percent Milkman yet, no. I figured I'm just going to go through... The levels as best as I can on the first run, and then we'll clear up later. Oh, shit. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Mm. There we go. Suitcase tag. Oh, I think I know where the suitcase is. Hey, got rid of all the cobwebs. That's great. I can put it in my bag again. Oh, it's a bit dark here. I can't really see. Um, can I climb up the rope? I can, yeah. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Uh, oof, this is really... Oh, I see. Right, 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 right. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Okay, you can't do a delayed double jump. It won't work, so just do a... There we go. Woo! That's how we do it in my can't garden. Can't wait for the Soulstorm stream. Neither can I. It's going to be great shit. Um, I was gonna get it on PC, but I, I'm just I've tr I gave I gave the Epic Game Store a fair shot. I was one of those people that was like, ah, oh, it's not a big deal. I I and then I tried playing Borderlands 3 on it. I don't know how this has happened, but 
playing. Oh, thank you for the subscription, Fruit Lion. But yeah, playing Borderlands 3 on Steam made it run twice as smoothly for me as it did on playing it on Epic Games. I don't know if it's because Epic Games takes so much memory or um, memory or whatever to run it in the background, or if it's just optimized really poorly on that Heal. particular client. I have no idea, but I could not fucking use it. And then when you consider that Epic Games Store has no features in it at all, and it's a really terribly designed launcher anyway, I just, no, I gave it a fair shot, but... <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'll be probably um, PS5-ing it, honestly. Kazooie won, or I guess it's Kazooie, but it says Kazooie, so I'm going to say Kazooie. A $5 donation, thank you. First time catching you live. Ah, thank you. I really like the not-so-hidden and actually-hidden implications of things in this game, lol. Like, for example, the theory that Raz isn't cursed, he's just scared of water, and his pyras are reacting trying to kill him. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I mean, that's that's what um, phobias are, right? I kind of figured that, that it was what they were doing. There we go. Now pyro works. There we go. Look alive, people! Bonita Soleil is about to take the stage. Flower girls in position one. And action! Tonight, I will be One chop. I don't think it works like that. I don't think um, it works like that, Ben. Because you have to use Epic to launch the games. And then when you're playing it through Epic, you get no achievements and it doesn't... I, like, I couldn't even find where it recorded my gameplay time. I couldn't find fucking anything. I did give, I did give it a go. I don't remember Bugs Life being like this. Hey everyone! Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me. <laughs> the Phantom. Sorry, I shouldn't have laughed. I shouldn't have laughed. Abused children makes me giggle. Um, that well, I mean, oh dear. Oh, what? Oh shit! Right? Oh shit! Oh, thanks, Tear of Grace, for the 165 raided banookas. Very kind of you. Everybody. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know. Oh, um, everybody in the chat, just use all of your um, use all of your oh yeah, all the emotes and shit. Crash Three is my favorite one. Well, it's a tie between Crash Three and Insane Trilogy if you class that as one game. Total chaos, or worse, improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange ah, stuff. Ah, there happen. you go. Well done, chat. Thank you for scaring Tear of Grace around. Yeah, Tear of... Oh, yeah, yo, ho, ho. How is it How's it going, Tear of Grace? Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. What have you been playing? Yeah, I tell my chat to spam all of my subscriber emos just to regret you ever ever being raided onto this channel and freaking you out. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> okay, that's just somebody dressed up as a dog and I'm now... Oh, okay. Alright, okay. Break that. Break that. No, okay. This is really weird. Oh, this is taking me back to Maypole. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh. Off we go. <laughs> We went up. Oh my dear mother, do you not love my new seaside mansion? Bought with a fraction of the wealth my overnight success has given to me? Yes, Gloria, my daughter. I hate I, only I hate how their mouths are always open. And their tongues aren't even really tongues, they're just like tiny little sausages. I mean, I could say something more vulgar, but I mean, I don't need to do that for you. They look like dicks. They got dicks in their throats. Or they could be taps. Could be taps. They're not dicks, honey. They're taps. They're dirty, rusty taps. Oh, I love a rusty tap. I haven't seen salad fingers in eons. Okay, I'm going to assume that we need um, Levitation Ball to get up there. Hey, 
what part are you playing? I am playing the part of Gloria's washed up and embittered mother. <laughs> so I guess we're just kind of flicking through all the scenes and just doing what we can in each of the scenes. As we have a nice dream about what to do in the scene. Right, how do we get up there? Uh, oh, there's a flying fish. Um... Sing, birdie. La, la, la. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, can we go this way? Is there like a secret? Hmm, there doesn't seem to be. Oh god, I didn't realize these things drop. I thought they were just coming to me randomly. I didn't realize they came from the props. Yeah, yeah, let's smash them up. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we get some arrowheads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, come on. I should probably go and check out what I can buy now at the camp. I haven't even thought about that. Eh. Hmm. I wonder. I don't know if this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, but... Um, no, I'm not sure. Oh, Manga King, 100 bits. Thank you so much. Each mood change has a different um, take, and it also has different sets of figments. So you're 100%. You need to experiment with different scenarios and different moods. Oh, right. So actually, if I go back... I didn't realize there'd be different, like, figments and shit. Also, can we... Oh, yeah, and also, sorry. Um, sorry to repeat myself again. Um, if I'm really, 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 really stuck, then that's when I will look for help. Um, but please don't just give things away because that just takes out the magic of figuring out how to things do things in the game. Thank you so much, though. Very kind of you. Also, can we get Keris to say that's how we do it in my garden to the camera? I don't think so. Yeah, she said no straight away. Yeah, sorry. Yay! Good. 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 I fucking hated the Maypole when I was a kid. It was so... Oh god, there are the fig... I just I was going to say, where the hell were they hiding? Ah, uh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know why I don't just do the le levitation ball, actually. up here. Can I jump up there anywhere? No. Okay. Alright. Can I go behind the stage? See if there's anything new back there. If there's nothing behind the stage that's new, then I'm going to assume it's just the front of the stage I need to worry about. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. Thank you, Admiral, for the 100 bits. Very kind of you. Yeah, I'm going to go and change the mood. <laughs> you watch their shitty... You watch their shitty little faces. Thank you, Terrible Terrans. Very kind of you. But also, you're very rude. I'm not a mofo. I'm a molo. I'm a mother lover. <laughs> the Gucci Hater. Thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Kelly. Hope you're doing well during the pandemic. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I am doing all right. Thanks. Yes. Okay, that now they all look like the centipede from James and the Giant Peach. Just with sharper teeth. Oh, and for the subscription as well, Admiral. Thanks very much. As much as this is being taken in like a, a, a slightly funny way, like... It is kind of depressing in hindsight, isn't it?
That's how we do it in my I've garden. never agreed with that adage, by the way. Why did the camera move up there? Have I lost the ability to, um... I can't seem to glide anymore, unless I've... Grabbing all the figments I can. Okay, right, let's go on these things. Oh, really? I couldn't grab that? Oh, that's a bit... That's a bit pissy, isn't it? Come on, let me have it. No, move the other way. Move the other way. Move the other way. Thank you. And I still didn't get the figment. Why do you have to make the figments paper thin? Right, there we go. I didn't realise you could do that. <laughs> Sorry, game. There we go. We made it. Okay, another figment. Sweet. Hey, there's the hot air balloon I need to get to the catwalks. Now, if I could just get them to do a play that brings it down here, I could ride it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. Oh, I do have the glide. Oh, I was pressing the wrong fucking trigger. Okay, so I've seen a few people in the chat actually say this. When it comes to um, using the levitation ball, so if I un if I unequip sorry if I unequip it um, for the sake of argument, let's just unequip it right now. Put marksmanship back on, so you can glide. Okay, so you can just glide all the time anyway, right? I thought you I okay. I thought you at least needed it equipped. I see what people were saying now. Oh, thanks for the subscription, terrible terrors. Right, okay, well, I, I think I need the levitation anyway. Yeah, I just looked in the chat, yeah, everyone's saying, oh, it's the left trigger or bumper. Yeah, that was my fault, that was my, that was my fault. Okay. So, if I put it this back on the levitation mode, just so I can get nice and high up. I'm pretty sure that's where it wants me to go, no. Looks like that's where it wants me to go. Or do I have to, like, go a weird way backwards or something? I, I'm not sure. Oh, are you, are you attacking me or... Yes, you are. Fuck you. Fuck you, dog. Our problem is 150 bits. Why do you hate the maypole? Were you tied to it as a child? No, it was just horrible and shit. What's the, what was the point of the maypole? I don't get... I, I have a thing for traditions that are pointless and are traditions for no reason at all. It, I think it's a fertility thing. I don't know, but just making a load of kids... And this is the thing. It wasn't even just making a load of kids in primary school do it. Nobody wanted to do it. So why? It was just for the fucking old people that had nothing better to do because they lived in a stupid village that didn't even have a shop in it. So the only way they could get their jollies was watching kids do the maypole once a year. I was like, it's not our problem, you know? And the and, and, and it's like, we didn't even get to listen to... Why am I going this way? We didn't even get to listen to, like, good music or anything. It was always, like, um, some weird, creepy man that would always direct you through the dance as, as the music was playing. It's like, sometimes you just want to listen to some good, bouncy folk music. But not while he's bloody going... Don't forget, everybody, swing around on the seventh go. It's like, no, shut up. And then there was one where we had to, like, break away from the maypole and start, like, arm-in-arm -arm dancing. And there was this one tape that we had where the guy um, would just lose his shit. And, and, like, he kept on reminding the kids in the tape to swing all the time, which was when we had to detach from the maypole and swing around. And, um... I'm going to just assume that this is what it wants me to do. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, so he, he was just constantly going on about, um, 
like, oh, on the seventh, on the seventh beat of this bar, make sure you swing, and every single time the same chorus would run, it did the same thing, right? Oh, hang on. What if... No, because I need to get to the... Can I get up there? Oh, I'm not sure. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. We've got a little, we've got a little bit of puzzle solving going on here. That's... Can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that right, one okay. particular set. Oh, what did I say? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is... Oh, thanks for the resub, um, Titty McGee. Anyway, I keep fucking losing it. Um, no, oh, I, I don't care enough about. Yeah, so, and then this guy would keep on saying, like, um, um, on the seventh go, every single time this co after the chorus, he would say on the tape, don't forget to swing on the seventh. And then at the very end, he just completely lost it, and he was, and then he would just go, swing! Like, so he just lost all the detail in what he was trying to say, and just said, swing! Kids, swing for Christ's sake! I, that's, oh, sorry, sorry. And then at the very ending one, which is where everyone started breaking down and laughing, and we always got in trouble for it when we had to perform it, he would go, "Everybody, swing!" And um, that's when everyone fucking laughed because it was stupid and dumb, and I don't understand it. Right. What did I put in my... <laughs> I put it away. Night of your... Oh, yeah, okay, so I've got to... Right. Okay, well, before I give that to... Um... Oh, jeez. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, dog. Hi, doggy. Bye, doggy. Shit. Shit. Yeah, we did it. We killed a child. Right, if we swap to the other stage, it might actually give us another way to get up that weird slopey thing we couldn't get up to earlier. Oh, well, this is exciting. I was for Sue Sue in the chat is saying she was forced to square dance in school. I went to school in Germany. So Maypole dance would have made more sense. I mean this is the thing, right? I went to a Church of England school, so it was like every day you said fucking like we sung at least two hymns a day. At least. Um and I was once told off majorly, this is where I started feeling like religion wasn't for me because there was one time I didn't want to sing because I hated the sound of my own voice and I still do, but like, oh geez, I'm on fire. Oh dear. Oh, my butt is on having a nice fiery day. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh bollocks. Oh crock. Okay, right. Can I set anything on fire? Oh fuck. No, okay, fine, fine, fine. But yeah, so there was one time in primary school where I, I, I was miming along with the hymns. Ash wants the big sleep thanks for the subscription. I was miming along with the hymns, but I didn't want to sing them outright. Because I didn't feel comfortable doing that. And I was, I was at that age when I was starting to even start questioning. Because we'd learned about the Big Bang in science. So it was like, so in one science session I'm being told the world was made by the Big Bang. And then in one fucking, one half an hour session later, I'm then being told that God is the Lord of all creation. So it was like, it was already a bit of a confusing time. And then there was one time I was miming along with the hymns I was supposed to be singing. God forbid I mimed. And um, that was that was it. I got in major trouble for it. And that's when I kind of decided, you know what, fuck, <laughs> fuck religion, it's stupid. Not against, I'm not against anybody that practices it. I'm just, it's not for me. And it's when it's forced upon you as a kid, it's not fun. At least it wasn't for me. I'm sure it was fine for a lot of other people, but for me it wasn't. I don't like things being forced upon me. I didn't really enjoy school anyway. So it was just a, it was just a load of load of ball. 
So I guess we've got to set it on fire, is my guess. Um, let's try it. Only the theatre itself. So I can't even touch it. Okay, well then I don't know how to get past that Durgan then, in which case I'm going to give the book over to Mrs. Lady. Heal. Ah, thanks for the $10, Lunatic Tedest, sir. I think that says. Tedesta? First time joining your stream. Hope to be here more often. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, no. No, no, Phoebe. Alan's off. Bye-bye, Phoebe. Angelica Arax. Um, Thanks for the 100 bits. My niece got into trouble at her Christian school for asking free-thinking questions her teachers could not answer. She goes to a public school now. Yeah, don't blame you. You can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay. New script, everybody. Let's practice. So... Okay, I'm, I'm not sure how to get up there then, in that case. Because now we're just running a new play. Ah! And now we can climb his head. We can, we can climb the corpse of a dragon's head, just like in real life. I'm so happy. Good. We did a good job, guys. Well done. Okay, so now I can fucking direct the play. <laughs> okay, that was the best bit of the game. Just telling the, just telling the director that you're doing a good job. <laughs> There's no point to that. That's great. Okay, so now we can climb up here. No, no, we can't. Yes, yes, we can. We have to. Come on. Raz, I'm stuck. Come on. Let's go up here. That's it. Using the head of a dragon as some staircase. That's it. No, no. You nearly had it. Come on, Raz. Try again. Can I not climb that thing? Okay, well, then I'll levitate then. Fuck you. Um, that's the wrong one. There we go. The day the mail boat finally came. Okay. So now we need to switch it to good to good mode, don't we? Because there's another doorway up here, isn't there? So we got to like remember all these different combinations and shit. Yeah, um, secondary school sucks. Yeah, I agree with you, Ash. Yeah. I've just hated school from day one. I never, I didn't enjoy it from the day I started till the day I left it. It was, as far as I'm concerned, my life started the second I left school. Ah, oh, shit. Well, yes, but my life had already started once I left school, honey. Yes. Hmm, I, okay, I don't know how to get up there and have it be in, in nighttime mode, no, in daytime mode. Unless that's what the other book does. The day the boat find ah the boat yes for the water yes 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 let's try this. Oh, another script. The day the mailboat finally came. Uh oh. Prop department, I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Yeah, this is a this is a really okay. This is reminding me like of Little Big Planet, Races but happening in everyone. real time. This is really cool. Um, I was in school when I started my YouTube channel. Yes, I was. I didn't get away with much. I, like my first, my first year of making videos was very, very my, well. My first six months, I should say, um, was very limited. But I was still at school. Yes, at the time. I think anyway. Pretty sure I was. I kind of blanked out a lot of that because it doesn't mean anything to me. Was I still at school? Yeah. In headphones, sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so funny, everybody that isn't here. Oh, where am I being taken? Oh, it's taking me to another scene. 
Oh, well, that doesn't answer my question. Thank you, the Wolverine Cool, for 500 bits. That's so kind of you. Here's some love and support. Sorry, I'm just going to listen to this. Oh, but I feel really sorry for Gloria. No wonder she's in an, an asylum. Oh, dear. Right, figments, figments, figments. Sorry, Wolverine, yeah. I've been watching you for a year and two. Thank you so much. You always make me laugh and happy with your content. I have a question. If company were going to make a figurine out of you, how would you feel? Also, thank you again, Cad. I'm sure you'd like to I, I'm sure you'd like to know how I felt if there was a figurine of me good I mm. um, unfortunately um I can't I actually can't say anything so you're just gonna have to say it amongst yourselves and take guesses but Flying fish there. Oh no, I'm drowning in the fake water, which is now okay. That's cool. So if you if you lose in the um, okay. So if you fall into the water normally, there's the hand that pulls you down. But like now now because we're in a stage situation, it's like a wooden hand. That's such a good detail, dude. That's so good. I liked that, honey. Yeah, I did. Okay, so do you think maybe this one this door here takes you to the top of the other place? Do you think? Oh, I didn't do the bad version. Shit. Yes, it does take you to the top. I've got my figment. And that's all that was up here. Okay, right. So go back here. Then go into sad mode. And then we'll do the final... Um, I guess it's the final textbook thing. Where'd you go? Oh, Dean's in the chat. Hey, dude. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Caddy Beyblades, please. <laughs> Oh, you missed... Okay, you missed... I, I think I might have talked about this Beyblade story before. Have I talked about the Beyblade story on stream before? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I have, but if I haven't, I'll tell it again. So you've just made me think, Dean. Okay, I just need to... Well, if you're still here, you need to hear this Beyblade story because... Okay, I used to be obsessed with Beyblade when I was a kid. I used to love it. Um, I don't remember anything about it. I've got to be very, very clear. I don't... I remember... Fuck diddle about Beyblade, but I really loved it as a kid. Um, and everybody down my road. Oh, sorry. Cutscene. Yes, and immediately before she ruins our career. I mean, your career. No, never shall I go. Worry not, baby daughter, for I. And I shall mail the letters myself, personally. <laughs> oh dear. So um, yeah. Anyway, oh you're still here. Awesome. Can't wait to hear it. Okay, cool. So yeah, I was I was obsessed with Blade Blade as a kid, as most people were back in the day. Um, we had Pokemon Craze for a bit, and then Beyblade Blade was like early 2000s, mid 2000s kind of time. And everybody down my street, because we lived in a village, you couldn't really do anything. There wasn't anything to do. So everybody ended up just getting Beyblades and fighting them in the road and all this kind of shit. So problem is, though, I asked my parents or my mum specifically from the Argos catalogue. Uh, may it rest its... May, may it, yeah, may it rest in peace, the Argos catalogue. Um, I asked my mum through the Argos catalogue over and over again, please, can I have a Beyblade? I, I was desperate for a Beyblade, an official one, with the pictures on it and the giant ripcord and everything. And I, I never got it um, because I think, I, I, I don't know, my mum my was a different person back then. She looked at things like that very, um, uh, like, supersti not superstitiously, but just, like, look, yeah, sceptically. Like, um, she, she saw what Pokemon did to everybody, so she was kind of a bit wearisome, which is fine. But she, um, 
didn't want to get me one. Um, so I was kind of bummed um, because um, everybody was... Um, I was kind of bummed out. Yeah, because everyone was bumming me. Yeah, no, I was not. I was bummed out in a bad way. Sad way. Sad way. I was bummed in a sad way because I couldn't. I couldn't do anything with my when the, everyone was having their Beyblade fights. And one of my friends down the road had. Do you remember the um the plastic bowls like the giant? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could get them in Argos. Um, they were about 20 to 30 quid, and there was just a thin old shitty piece of plastic that was like molded into a, an arena. And it was maybe this this big. It, well, it wasn't even that big. It was like probably, the, yeah, probably the size of my, yeah, probably there, probably there. And um, yeah, so he had this thing, and then his parents decided to get him. Do you remember the remote control Beyblade? Because no one seems to remember it, but I remember it vividly because I was desperate for one. It was remote controlled in the sense that... Um, sorry, I'm going to need to fucking concentrate here. I'm going to need to turn the game audio off. Okay, so... What? Okay, so there were... There was like... A remote control Beyblade, which wasn't remote control completely. What it was was that you had a trigger, so you let let look let it rip, as they said, you know, you let it rip, That's and then um, what ended up happening was thank you for the subscription, Nico. Paul. what ended up happening was that you had a trigger on this like on this like um RC car majigger. You press the trigger in, and it nudged it in different directions, right? That's how it worked. So my my mate had this had this um Beyblade, and he used it everywhere, and he just destroyed most people with it because he could do fucking nudge and he could push other Beyblades off the arena within seconds and it was not very fun. So one day I was in the fair of all places. It was the um, Tame Town Fair, which you can look up. It's pretty famous. And um, I did one of those Hook the Duck games because I was young and I was stupid and I liked ducks. So I did the, I did the duck and they had um, knockoff Beyblades as prizes. Um, and I failed the duck hooking game because I'm just terrible, I suppose. Um, I've never seen anybody fail a duck game in a fair before, but I was one of the first and I failed this duck game But the dude said, okay, well you paid a pound you didn't do very well But if you give me another pound, I can give you a prize So you so like you've you've already had your try instead of asking for another pound for, to give you another try Just give me a pound and pick one of the prizes. So I was like, okay, cool So I picked one of the fake knockoff Beyblades that they had because I wasn't allowed the real thing. They were quite expensive. So I was like, oh, a pound for a fucking fake Beyblade? Yeah, sure. I might not win anything, but I'm gonna get it. So I get this fucking, I get this fucking Beyblade, right? And, um, I'd start taking it to matches that my friends were having. Or, well, friends, uh, groups of kids, you know. I was just following trends because I didn't have many friends. But I was just following the groups and, um, I had my Beyblade with me. It was a piece of shit. The, the rip cord was all tattered and it was really, really, like, it sounded rusty when you pulled it. It was just not very good quality. But the thing is, is that for being a knockoff fake Beyblade with a fake artwork sticker on the front for a fake monster from the show, it was made of metal. Oh. It had metal. Metal on the rim of the Beyblade. So... What ended up happening was everybody had their plastic ones, and even the, the plastic, the plastic ones were really nicely detailed. They had all the like, all the like, the sharpie kind of um saw blade around the edge kind of thing. And my one had the same thing, but they weren't plastic; they were fucking metal. So whenever I used this thing, it was the heaviest and it was the most vicious and deadly. And I destroyed everybody's Beyblade with this thing, including the fifty-pound remote control super duper Beyblade that my other friend had um and I think I actually might have opened up a couple of Beyblades with the metal from the plastic um so dangerous but you know good times good times were had by all you monster yes I know well you know you, it's that's it's it's the it's the Streisand effect isn't it you 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 deny someone something you try to look for it more and then you end up with a fake knockoff thing that's worse than the first one and just so happens to be able to also give you a nice shave at the same time oh dear so there you go um there's my story there you go one one pound fake metal beyblade destroys um every single other official beyblade that my entire year group had Goodbye, and that was because my mum refused to spend the money 
on a plastic official one. So I guess actually, in, in all in all fairness, my mum was probably right. Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. Because I got the best Beyblade for a fucking pound where she could have wasted 20 quid in the Argos catalog. So that's how we do it in my garden. Oh no, Paris didn't no, Paris didn't come and tell my mum because they didn't know that I had a fake one. Oh, I just knew that this was my this was my my fake Beyblade. I just knew, you know. Ah, the balloon's coming down. Sweet. Hey, there's no magical balloon on this set, but that won't stop me from jumping down there and kicking your ass. <laughs> so we've got to change the set then. Um, which then means we've got to run the... Um... Oh, shit. Oh, that didn't work. I tried to double jump over it. Okay, well, let's get, let's get back to the, the other area. Sorry, JJ Douglas, 500 bit cheer. You think it? You think it could be a movie? You'd watch it. If look, once, once fucking um, once fucking um, quarantine's over and you want to make a sketch or something, I'm down. I'm down, dude. You know where I am. Just give me a call. Call me anytime. Call me day or night. Um, call me with the the blondie band. Call me with I don't know the words to call me. Oh, okay. No, okay. Karis has told me to stop it. Sorry, JJ Douglas. 500 bits. Thank you. Hi, Caddy. I've been watching Karis in season one. Jeez. Well, yeah, what I was just about to say that. Karis beat me to it. Thank you so much for the hours of entertainment. Random question. Do you have a favorite point and click adventure game? Broken Sword 2. Um, have you ever played any of the Monkey Island games? No. Um, or any of the Wallace and Gromit point and click episodes developed by Telltale. They're really good. Uh, a telltale for me, I remember liking The Wolf Among Us quite a lot. I didn't play The Walking Dead, but once I started noticing they were all basically the same, I was, I just kind of, ugh, it's not, yeah, I kind of lost interest after that, to be honest. Not because they're not good, it's just, there's only so many times I can see the same thing done over and over again. Okay, do you think that this is the one we need to do? Where's the megaphone? There we go. Um, goodbye, Hagatha home, which is when she got out, and that's why it's all sunny, is my guess. This is such a clever idea. So there's like a million different combinations. You can you can run different scenes on different sets with different moods. That's so clever. Ah, oh, wrong set. There's no magic cloud in this set. Wrong one. Let's just run around happily. Oh, it's the evil one, isn't it? Because we tried to get to the top, and that's where Raz said it's the evil version, isn't it? Ah, oh, thanks for the 250 bits, Hewlett fan. Hey, Caddy, hope you and your family are doing well during these disturbing times. We are, thanks. How are you doing? Don't know if you saw earlier, I subscribed to your exhilarating channel for the first time. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, I know how you feel. I went to a strictly Catholic school where we were forced to do mass every Monday, what every one every Monday until we were seventeen. Ooh, wow, that must have made you love God more than anybody. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, Karis went to a Roman Catholic school as well, so she knows how you feel. I, I forget about the um the marksmanship for fighting. It's it's really good. Okay, I think this is the one where the balloon will come down. I, I'm not sure. Uh, sorry, uh, controversial game opinion. Um, I feel that while the Xbox and PS2 soundly beat the GameCube in terms of overall success, the consistency of the GameCube library was far better. Yeah, the GameCube's a fantastic console. But the PS2 had, like, Xbox, I, I had all, I had all of them, and, um, GameCube was just adorable, and I love the UI, and I love how much it could like how much it could do over the um, PS2 and Xbox in this country anyway. It could run games smooth. The Resident Evil 4 was the definitive way to play it. Was on the GameCube. It had Resident Evil Zero. It had great exclusives. But um, the Xbox, I could say the same thing. I suppose great exclusives at the time, um, and it ran games really well because it was very powerful. Um, and but the PS2 had most of what the GameCube and the P the um, the GameCube and the Xbox had, but also had the DVD player. 
And that was just it. That was it. Like, it was, oh, do you get a gaming console and a DVD player in your bedroom? Like, it was just the best. PS2. Like, because most D DVD players at the time were actually more expensive than the PS2 was. So it was like, well, do you want a DVD? I mean, it wasn't the best quality DVD player, and, it, and obviously the PS2 was a little bit weirdly built in terms of, like, how long it could last and everything. So you probably would have been better off getting a, a Sony DVD player anyway if you wanted long life expectancy on the thing. But, like... For a, for a value for money, the PS2 could not be could not be beat, and it could play CDs as well, which the Xbox could do. The GameCube was horribly limited in that sense. But if I had to pick one, then yeah, I'd pick the um, I'd pick the GameCube as a, as like the most unique and the probably like if I had to, if I could get any game, if all the PS2 exclusives were on GameCube, I would have been fucking set. Like that would have been great. Obviously not possible, but you know. Five dollars from Plessin, thank you. With all of this Jesus talk, <laughs> have you ever seen that? Have you seen that new meme going around called "The Coming of Jesus"? No, I haven't, but it sounds fucking hilarious. Also, Coronation Street long play when Jimbles. Well, I was gonna say soon, but you called me Jimbles, so there's gonna be nothing. No, actually, to be fair, um, getting Coronation Street to run on this PC while being able to stream it is um, probably not gonna work. Because it's not, it's not running off of Steam, so I don't know how well that my new PC is going to run it. I had an older PC when I made that video, so... Oh, I'm sure there's an EastEnders game. I'm sure. Because they're not games, they're just images. So it's like, all they need to do is get screenshots of characters, and then and then they and then they die. Uh, death sound. Um, yeah, and then they die. Um... I'm Harper Onions, 150 bits. Hey, Caddy, have to go to bed soon as I've got a gender clinic thing tomorrow morning. Oh, good luck with that. Um, thanks for letting us know so we could say good night. I'm sure Keris might say something. Good night. Yeah, she says good night. Have a good sleep, Harper. Thanks for coming down. Oh, I got hit on the head by a sack. And not the nice kind. Actually, actually, to be fair, that, that's not a very nice kind, is it? To be fair. You are not welcome. Dicks are really weird. But genitals in general are really weird if you think about it. Like, if you really think about it, they look alien, you know? They don't look right on anybody. Like, nobody. Yeah, they don't look good on me. They don't look good on anybody. They're just weird looking. Yeah. You're welcome. Come no closer, or it will be the last. I've got one life. Shit, I haven't seen the game over screen in this game yet. I'm sorry, I'm waiting for the um, the figment to come back down. Wherever the hell that went. There it is. Got it, right. How many figments do I have left? Ah, oh, so I missed the figments in the other area, didn't I? Shite. So I missed, um, I missed a few in the last area. Bollocks. Okay, it's all right. We're not doing the 100% shit just yet. So we, lit we have the literal Phantom of the Opera. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Advanced Psychedet. That's me. I'm I'm an Advanced Psychitect. Architect. Did I say Architect? Shit. Oh. My favorite game is Bloodborne. Person in the chat. Um, upgrade earned. Advanced Invisibility. It lasts twice as long. That's useful. <laughs> I like that system as well, like, it's not only collect-a-thon, uh, like, collect-a-thon just com collecting everything for the sake of collecting it, but if you, like, I see the fact that it's an optional mechanic that also increases the power of your, your psychic abilities is really, really smart. So you, it, you know, it, it makes sense to, oh, should we go into, we should go into ball mode, shouldn't we? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We've messed it up. We messed it up. Oh, can we make it? Can we make it? Yep. Yeah. Can we make it? Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. No, no, jump, 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 jump. Oh, fuck. I think I missed it, didn't I? Shit. Well, we've got to come back anyway, so that's fine. Oh, it's a sensor. I haven't seen one of... Okay, how's this going to work then? Okay, I'm going to fucking... I can't see. I can't see. Oh, 
Ah, baggage. Okay, we got. Some oh, Jesus Christ! This is this is relentless. This this thing this stage wants you dead. Yeah, I got the I got the memo. It's okay. Oh shit! I get a game over. You can walk away from the stage, young man, but show business. Have I got to do it all over again? Oh, I fucking hope not. Oh, that's not very nice. Oh dear, this is this is bad, isn't it? Last checkpoint. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you. It's only a game over if you die in the real world. Thanks for letting me know. Bungie the Oranatan. Thanks for the 100 bits. Um, speaking of the GameCube, how do you compare Twin Snakes to the original MGS? I, I can't stand the Twin Snakes. I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to tell people that they're wrong for thinking it's better or worse because I'm not pathetic. Video games are fun. I mean, everyone needs to chill out a little bit. But, like... Yeah, I, I... Oh, we could get that missing figment again. But yeah, no, I, I'm not a fan of the Twin Snakes. It's basically, if you want MGS1 that looks better, and that's it, go for it. I think in gameplay it's worse, because it's, it's so broken. It's way too easy. Putting MGS2 mechanics into MGS1's design is... I don't know, it just doesn't work. It just does not work. It's like taking a BMX to a unicycle competition. Like, you, you, you just shouldn't do it. There are some things that are unfair, and being able to do all the shit in MGS2, but in the setting of MGS1, is just not right. Like, the game is completely forgettable for me because of that. Because it's just, there's no moments that stand out because it's just so fucking easy. And that would be fine if it was like a bonus thing, but the thing is that it's not. It's a full-on game. It's, it's a full-on game. And the, the voice acting was redone, and in my opinion, it was done way worse because the actors have got too comfortable in their roles. And I'm not saying that they, they phone it in. I'm not saying that at all. But they don't sound like they're giving it their all. Like, Snake in MGS1, it's not, like, the perfect Snake voice that David Hayter had perfected at that point. You can hear him straining, but I like hearing that strain. It, sound, it's, it's, it sounds in, intense. It's like something... It's like shit's going down. But in the Twin Snakes, hearing the same lines that used to be delivered with lo loads of vigor are like, Hello, this is Snake. It's just, it's it's like, oh, he knows. He knows that Snake is popular and like, he knows that like, Big Boss's voice, he pretty much nailed it at that point and he just needs to do the Big Boss thing again. But I don't think that works for MGS1 Snake. He needs to sound a bit more stressed out in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. I mean, if you like it, great. Here's the last one. Thank you, Wolverine, for the 100 bits. Um, this is my first time watching your stream, and no matter what, I will support you till I die. Oh, well, okay. What if I die first? How will you support me then? Because I'll be dead. Will you kill yourself? Please don't do that. Because I'll never. Because I'll haunt you. You ki you kill yourself. I'll fucking haunt you. You hear me? Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm, you're gonna. You're gonna hear me. In your bed. When you least expect it. You are not welcome. Um, heck, you've got a point. <laughs> oh, Loud House. Nice, nice to see you, dude. Please. Or dudette. Nice. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Thanks. You. I, I use dude as a neutral term. Don't worry about it. I say, I like, I call the kid, like, I live in a ham, a, fam, a family. I was going to say, I live in a family full of women and I call the kids guys. It's, it doesn't mean anything. They know what I mean. I am the Phantom. Like the collective term for for kids for me is always guys. It's just it sounds it sounds natural. <laughs> Childries or Childries. The camera has fucked me. I'm now looking at AstroTurf and I'm dying. Help me, guys! Help! Oh, oh Lord! Oh, it's big beefy. Okay. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh my god, I'm s I've been I've been cornered by beef. Okay, fuck. Okay, let's go 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 go. Get out of here. This camera's shit. Get out. 
Oh, that scared me. Okay, right. We got a vault down here. That's nice. Oh, let's take a break. Whew. Exactly. Again, I have to stress exactly how you feel at the airport when you find your baggage after you've lost it on the conveyor belts for like... Oh, jeez. There's a lot of people. Okay. All right. Right. Give me. Glorious fallen star. Do you know what? If that, that mouse stays in the same position, whatever happens. So if I stick it in the corner, then it won't ever get in the way again. Um, I thought it would like reset to the middle every time I did this. Gloria von Guten. Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Gloria von Guten. Gloria live. Gloria von Guten palace. Gloria tune. Gloria, Gloria. That's nice. Yep, she's got a good Gloria going on there. Good tune. Yep, she's got an award. And loads of people are, I don't know, using... What? Oh, they're camera flashes. Oh, right. Yeah, I thought they were, I thought they were like, toilet paper? I don't know. Um, Okay, so she gets a letter and she's upset. Yeah, because I'm, oh uh, yeah, because that's what the, the, the play was saying, that she did something traumatic. Suicide mum, and then, and then her personality split. That's sad. <laughs> Fucking hell. I do like how this, how this game is dealing with a lot of heavy subjects with a slight tongue in cheekness to it though it, it I think it's balancing it quite well because it's almost like they're making gags about the whole thing but then when you actually go searching for it you realize that there's something quite deeply upsetting going on which I guess is similar to real life like on the outside people make jokes about shit like that all the time and they want to make sure that no one realizes that they're actually sick but then the second that you actually do a little bit of digging, you then realise that shit's a bit more darker, which is kind of what happens here. When you get given what the game expects you to see and all the other optional stuff that the game would want you to miss. There's the, the fantasy comedic world, and then the hidden away slightly, um, really negative actual real life consequences, which are the safes. Nice parallel. I mean, I'm not sure if it's a kids game. I, I think it's I think it's a teens game, if anything. I think this was a, I think this was like an 11 plus when it came out in this country. So I got all the wait. So am I, what am I missing? I'm missing two figments. Are you fucking shitting me? Oh fuck! Where could they be? Oh, they could be fucking anywhere, dude. Anywhere. Oh lord. Okay, they, I thought if they were anywhere immediate, then I'll I'll look for them, but they're not. So let's just go for the phantom. We'll be coming back here at, later anyway, so it's okay. Oh, they're here. One. Come on, beef. I've got you. Jeez, he's he's very beefy. Come on, where's this final one? Oh shit. The candle there. Fuck. Okay. Wait. What? Oh, there he is. Oh, he looks like Grim, Fan Grim Fandango. Yeah, it is Grim Fandango. I guess that's also a Tim Schafer thing. Yeah. Bookworm Tales, 100 bits. Just found out two weeks ago that the factory center where I've been volunteering for nearly a year has to shut down and relocate in three months, and I'm absolutely heartbroken. I just wanted to say thank you, Caddy, as your streams have always helped me relax when my muscles are all achy from cleaning the... Um, the okay, I'm really... I'm really sorry. I nearly read that as ovaries. I'm really sorry. Cleaning the aviaries, preparing food, and flying the 23 birds of prey I work with. Oh, that sucks. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's, um, that's shit. I think, like, for me, working with animals, I couldn't work with animals, like, oh, along with everything else that you do, which is incredible. Like, I couldn't work with animals purely because nothing lasts forever, and as soon as the job is over, like, I just wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to cope. I make friends with animals way too easily. Pyro. Uh, cruel sunlight. Anything but that. Oh, treacherous child. Oh, you left for portal. Be careful. Break. Don't spam. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you are spamming, but just in case you are, people are telling you to calm down. Oh, look at him slinking away. I was gonna call him a spindly Johnny, but he's he's slunk away.
Let's carry on. Uh, I'm going to levitation mode. Ah, uh, there's the final one. Yeah! So did I get all of them in the in the first section then? Because I, I forget, it doesn't tell you that message okay, until you get Vanda. every single it's one of them in the entire level, level, right? Which means I must you have got all 111 really in the first are. section, I think. Am I right in thinking that? What? What a twist! Oh no, guys! Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never. How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and thin. <laughs> he could never be you. Why, you? Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days Ooh. of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full destructive force of an angry... I like how, like, her main demon in, in Gloria's head that we're in right now, I like how her main demon we've got to cleanse is criticism. will never hurt me. That has turned into a Phantom that's fucking everything up. I like that. Thanks for calling me a funny shit. I guess it's better than being a smelly shit. Hagrid isn't staring into your soul, it's Hayride. The PS1 version of Hagrid is called Hayride and he's watching over all the new followers that come in. It's an important job. So don't don't you start making fun of my Hayride. If you start, if you start harassing him, then I'm afraid I'm going to have to enact my policy. My no bullying policy. Okay, we got another boss. Alright, we've got a candle. Oh shit. Did I drop the candle? Oh no, I got all the candles. Okay, right. So, what do I do with the candle? I'm assuming that this is something that we have to do. Okay, let's get the candles out. Um, he's firing criticism at me. Oh, that's sad. That's really weird. I, he said he said sad as soon as I said sad. Oh wait, there's places to put candles here. I think no. Oh, I'm not sure what to do. Um, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Ladder's taken away. Um, can I get closer to you? No. Okay. That doesn't hurt you. I'd like to try and figure this out without having to resort to the bacon all the time. Oh, fuck. See, I want to say that I want to say that these are important, but the camera keeps turning around. So it's clearly something that, yeah, that's not that's not me doing that. So it's clearly something behind. No, no, it can't be anything behind me because then the camera wouldn't need to turn around, would it? Oh, hang on, wait a sec. Ah, oh, okay. Oh shit. Still got to avoid all the shots. Okay. No! Oh my god! I can't tell if it's firing above me or below me or where. It's really difficult. Righty, there we go. Right, 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 right. Okay, let's get the candles out. One there. And one. Thank you so much, Manic Realm. I'll read your cheer in a second. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Um... Okay, right. Go, 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 go. 
Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna smack you in the head, you little tub. That didn't work. Okay, right. Okay, I tried. I tried. Yeah! I like how he hits that one and doesn't hit the rest of them. <laughs> Sorry, Manigrams. Fun fact time. The devs say the vulgar words Jasper fires at you were taken from a review of the movie White Chicks. Really? When did White Chicks come out? I thought White Chicks was like relatively like recent. I thought it was like 2009 or something. I didn't know it was out when this game was out. Like originally. Either way, it's very funny. And very correct. <laughs> get away from these guys. Wait for them to tire out. There you go. Not going to say how many levels are left, but if you go for three hours tonight on Wednesday, you'll probably finish the game. Also, what do you consider teenage games and games anyone can play? Manga King, 100 bits. Thank you so much. Um, okay, first of all, good to know that I'm kind of getting like maybe two thirds of the way through the game by the sounds of things. That's good to know. Move on to the next thing as soon as I can. Um, oh, no, one wrong one. Okay. I'd, okay, so if you want my opinion, I think my opinion is relatively... Um, okay, controversial is not the... Oh god, we're ready for a hot take, a, a catechorous hot take that everyone loves on Twitter. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I mean, you can call it a hot take if you want. I don't think it's a hot take. I think it's fucking common sense. I don't think there's anything as, as, aside from preschool shit, like Peppa Pig and stuff like that. You know, stuff that is so clearly made for a specific target demographic. I really, genuinely do not believe that there is such thing as as a kids game. Because you could say, oh, Toy Story 2 on PS1 is a kid's game. But I play it all the fucking time, and I think it's great. And I think that some kids would find it a little bit too difficult, you know? Okay, what's going on here? So my opinion is... Do I have to be quicker now? We've got a time... Shit. Yeah, so my opinion is... And this is talking as somebody who is a father figure with kids. Um, I genuinely... Do not believe it's about age or like about like specific <laughs> it's a case-by-case -case basis as far as i'm concerned i don't think you can use the esrb as a guideline i really don't because it's it's all depend it's a good guideline for people who don't want to do the work to figure out what that would be suitable for their kid right in my opinion, I, li I like that it's there for all the parents that don't know much about games or don't know anything about media and don't watch movies and they don't want to know what to get their kid. I, I get that. But um, what I'm saying is that uh, it's hard to explain. Like with our kids, ever since I moved in with them, I know, I know, I know my kids, right? I know, well, Karis's kids. I know them. I know what they like, I know what they dislike, I know what scares them, I know what they can handle, I know what they can't handle, I know what they're mature enough to try and deal with, I know what they're mat mature enough to not deal with, I know what they'll be able to comprehend, what they wouldn't be able to comprehend, all of that stuff, right? So, like, random example. Um, okay, no, 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 not even a random example, a very specific example. Um, when we were... Sorry, it's a cutscene. I just want to make sure that we're not missing anything important. I don't think so. Yeah, when um, when Amy was a bit younger, we actually uh, marathoned. You Sorry. You're no good. This place. Streaming's fun until you have to then pay attention. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you call this theater. I, I can't even see it from down here, but I know it's bad. Can you hear me? Oh, you've got bad arms. You hear me? Big. Yay, we did it. You're all so kind. Awesome. Anyway, sorry. And I forgot about this cutscene as well. I believe 
I shall happily retire while I'm still young. Finally. Hey, we did it. Well done. Okay, so when when we were younger, um when we were younger, when Amy was younger, Jesus Christ, I'm getting distracted. Um, when Amy was younger, we um, had the Friends Blu-ray box set that Keris, because we were looking for something to watch, and Keris was like, oh, I remember really enjoying Friends, so we were like, okay, well, why don't we just get the Blu-ray set and watch them back to back? This was before it was on Netflix, so good timing on our part. And we watched all of it, and yeah, there's a few, th there's, there's, I mean, there's a lot of shit that hasn't dated in it, but that's dated in it, but the worst that the humour got, even though Amy was quite young when she saw it, and it's a 12 rated, I knew that the shit that they would joke about, even if it came to, like, sexual things and stuff, it was so mild that I knew that she could either just ignore it or just, like, not get it or whatever. Um, in the same breath, though, um, Amy is more than capable of watching something like Assassin's Creed or Bloodborne, even, some of the most violent games ever. She watched all of, um, the 2018 God of War, um, when I was playing it. Um, because I know she can handle gore, I know she can handle violence, she knows it's fake, she understands that that's not how you behave in real life, she understands that doing the things in the game is an outlet for stress and everything, and it's not, she understands that, right, she can differentiate between fantasy and fiction, but those games, Bloodborne and God of War, are 18s as far, I think, I think God of War is an 18, but either way, Bloodborne is definitely an 18, or a 16, I think it's an 18, whatever the case, um, she can, she can handle that stuff. Um, but then when it comes to something like Game of Thrones, she could handle basically all of it. But I'm not about to have the conversation with a 10 year old about what exactly sex is, what it entails, and why there's a brother and a sister doing it. <laughs> That's a bit too heavy for a kid, right? At least for her. I'm sure there are other kids in different situations, but... For her specifically, I know what she can handle. And that's the same logic I have with horror movies and stuff. We have watched um, The Shining with Phoebe when she was like uh, 11 or 12. And she was fine with it because we know from watching the movie what she'd be okay with. We don't go by the age ratings on things. We go by what we think they'd be able to handle. And if something pops up that they're not able to handle or they don't like what they see... Um, especially if it's a game or something like with Bloodborne we said to Amy multiple times like if you don't like what you see this is my job this is my work I have to do it you can just leave I'm not gonna force you to sit here and watch it I'm not gonna fucking indoctrinate you I'm not gonna <laughs> like um clockwork orange you but if it gets too much or you're gonna have nightmares or whatever you can go and I said I had that with Resident Evil 7 as well because she watched all of Resident Evil 7 as well um but she was fine and she doesn't have nightmares. But then if she was someone who did have nightmares, I wouldn't suggest it at all. I really wouldn't. It's it's all case by case. Which is why it is kind of good that um, the age rating exists for people that just don't know what their kids could handle. Or they don't understand what kind of media can get away with with different age ratings on things. Um, but... Yeah, it, it's just a, for us, it's a case by case basis. So I don't consider there's a such thing as a kid's game or an adult's game. It's all basically, it's based on its life experience, essentially. Um, there's themes, there's definitely adult themes, but I don't think there's such thing as an adult game. Like, you can say GTA is an adult game, maybe you could argue that, but I would say it was just a game like any other fucking game, but just with adult themes in it, you know? Because you can play GTA and run around the city and blow shit up and get in trouble with the police without doing any of the drug shit, without doing any of the, the, the sex stuff. You can you can just do the running around blowing up shit stuff. In fact, that's what the kids do with Assassin's Creed. They don't fucking play it. They just run around and assassinate people, get caught, and then try again. That's all they do. So they don't do the story. They don't get to see any of the more risque stuff, if you want to even say some of it's risque. But you know what I mean? It's like... And then there are some games where, like... Um, yeah, like something like Toy Story 2 or Mario 64. Like, okay, they're designed with kids in mind so that they can jump in and play it so that they can sell more copies and introduce them into a new world of gaming. But, holy shit, I'm in my fucking mid-twenties and I still struggle at Mario 64, so it can't be a kids' kids only game. That's what I mean with preschool games, like Sesame Street and Peppa Pig games and all that stuff. You know exactly what you're getting there. A kids' a game for the youngest demographic. Chaps. What is up, eh? But yeah, I'm I'm just fucking I'm just I'm I'm just I'm at I'm at 
I ramble. You know, you guys know I ramble at this point. Either way, I mean, the um, Keras' kids are the best kids. I, and this is coming from someone who hates kids. <laughs> They're the best kids I've met in my life. And they have seen some, some things which I'm sure many parents would be so against their kids seeing. Okay, can we grab that by going invisible, do you think? Yeah, I'm sure there are other parents out there that would be absolutely appalled by what Greetings, I was um, letting them see. The but it's not about what I'm letting them see, it's about what they can handle. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hands should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal so if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thanks. <laughs> flank! No, wait! Uh, counter flank! No, uh, How are you doing? Uh, excuse me, sir? Oh, you're a proper Just, spindly. Look at this spindly, you know, Johnny. I'm not watching. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh. I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he fears it. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You want it? Uh, you can have it. Uh, just help me undo these buckles in the back. Oh, uh, what are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly. Okay, so he's got hell. schizophrenia, I think. So this is going to be interesting going into his head. Oh, God, I don't know. Um, so trick the orderly into letting me onto the elevator. Okay, so I guess that means going into the head. Can I go into both of their heads? Which head shall I go into first, guys? I'm going to let chat decide. Where should I go? Bookworm Tales? That is interesting. That's very, very interesting. Spindly Napoleon. Ah, oh, hey, Ryan. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Okay. Well, the chat seems to be saying, yeah, Napoleon, basically. So let's let's go into his head. Sorry, I was saying anyway, like, I can say as someone who hates kids that they're the best kids I've ever met. And I, I'm i sure if you've met them at cons, I don't know how many of you have met them at cons or anything. Um, or, or, like, even seen them in the videos and everything. They, they're mature. They're mature for their age. And that's not because we subject them to torturous things that only adults should ever be subjected to is because we treat them with respect like instead of telling phoebe oh you're too young to see this horror movie be be still my beating heart H hide away my child i must protect you instead of being like that we say okay so this is a movie you want to see it's got this 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 and this and it can you handle it and she'll say yes or she'll say no treat them like fucking adults you get respect in return and they become functioning members of society very quickly Kids, ki all kids aren't bad. It's all, it's all to do with parenting, really. But that's just how we, that's just how we handle it. Other people have their own ways of doing it. Like if, if, if one of them was to get addicted to um, a game console or something, or they were behaving questionably after playing too much of a certain kind of game, then we'd have to have a little bit of a chat. But the thing is that we've never had to have that chat because we, we we're, we're on a mutual understanding. Nothing's taboo in that sense. Whereas with me and my my parents, um, I wasn't really, I like I never got video games for my birthday or anything or Christmas. I was I wasn't allowed to ask for them from my mum. Again, she was a different person back then. Oh, you're off now, Harper. Sorry, I didn't realise. Oh, thank you. Oh, I hope you uh, good luck. Good luck. Um, good luck tomorrow. And um, thanks for coming down. 150 bits. Awesome. Oh shit! No, I was gonna grab the grab. I was gra going for the figment. But also, this is very cool. It's a board game, I think. That's cool. But anyway, so, um... What's this? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You! Destroy that bridge! For France! For France! Uh. I hate your stupid bridge. This is how much I hate you! Ha <laughs> ha! Suck on that bridge! 
Ah, yes. <laughs> now I shall go torment this poor peasant over here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my no. God. The bridge is broken and I can't move my thesis past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you so he's win. fighting with himself. No, it's Jerry's game from Pixar. He's fighting with himself, you, and he's Mr. he's like talking with himself as he's fighting with himself. <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Alors. Um. Anyway, yeah. So, um, where I was, um. Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, fuck, sweet. Let's go and grab that before I. Okay, this camera perspective trick is very smart. Oh, no. Okay, I thought it was going to, like, just make everything... It would shrink everything as we were going down. Okay, right. Anyway, I keep losing my fucking train of thought. Um, I completely forgot what I was even fucking talking about. Well, there we go. That... I, 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 I mean, I mean... Oh, that was the wrong button. Shit. Yeah, like discipline's important. Just looking in the chat, discipline is um, is important. Absolutely. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just look for the on um, the figments first. Yeah, discipline is obviously very important. Like, I'm not saying we don't parent, but what I'm saying is that you just need to treat your treat your kids with respect. That's all. Treat them treat them like small human beings, not like children. And if they think they can handle something, give them a chance. That was what I was talking about my mum, yeah, because I was never allowed to ask for video games for my birthday or Christmases from her um, when she was a little bit of a different person back then. And um, what ended up happening was that then the games that she wanted me to be safe from ended up becoming more enticing. And that's how I ended up getting into ultra, ultra violent games, playing like God of War when I was probably a bit too young to be too young to be playing it. And Mortal Kombat, the, the, the Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat 10, the one on PS3, that one. Um... Yeah, that's how I got into all that shit because it was like, well, why are you keeping me away from it? And are, are you in, like, if you think I'm gonna be influenced by this and turn into like a monster that easily, then that's insulting to my intelligence. So I'm gonna prove you wrong and do it. And uh, look, I'm a, I'm a normal functioning person, so and I play some of the most fucking vile things ever, and I've seen some vile fucking movies, you know. So it's um. <laughs> Yeah, I, obviously, obviously it can it can plant ideas. Obviously, it can reinforce certain behaviors. But it's only if it's un like uncontrolled. It just needs to be controlled. We control it. We don't police it. It could easily fix the bridges I keep breaking if he just had a carpenter. But his carpenter is hiding out in his house! <laughs> Afraid. Well, war is scary. So you see, it is an easy game, but Fred has already lost it. Not this time. This time, we're going to win. No, we're not. Fred, shut up. Can we break any of these buildings? This is really cool. This is really cool. How do I get you then? Okay. Oh, no, he's up. He's up. Oh, get those fucking spindly legs back in there. What? Also, now I'm tiny, tiny. Oh, Inflim, thanks for the 100 bits. Thanks to Stream Caddy off for the night. Good luck with the rest of the stream tonight. Thank you. Thanks for coming down. Manga King, 100 bits. If you talk to the tall guy, you get more info on what's going on. Um, also, didn't know that my last question would lead to all that insight, lol. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Also, yeah, um, I, it, it's fine. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll talk to people as and when. It's fine, dude. Thank you, though. He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll talk to Fred, I'll talk to him, and I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man, and that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. Okay, alright, that's fair, that's, that's fair. Uh, this, this level's gonna be a bit of a pain to explore, I get the impression, as cool as it is. Hey, that was lucky. 
There's the handbag. This is one of the more annoying ones to 100% apparently. Can't wait. <laughs> okay, right. So is there a way to get rid of these guys? Or am I just... Okay, so the, the marksman doesn't do anything, so... Maybe we have to then... No, that doesn't do anything. Okay, alright, that's fine. That's fine. So is it going to be the same story with all these guys? Oh! I thought people were living in it! Oh no! Whoops! So if I jump onto the top, and then do this... Oh... Oh god, this is going to be confusing, isn't it? Um, okay, 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 okay. Ah, I see. That's how I get bigger again. Ah. Okay, so the peasants aren't very happy. Um, okay, how about these guys then? How many, how many fucking, um, 243, oh my god. I think I'm gonna have to do this level and call it a night, honestly. This is crazy. Oh, bless you, dog. You are right. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our core of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. If he's a carpenter okay. made out of wood, burglar, making things that are made out of wood, why does he have a fire going? To you and up on the roof at the same time. Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, will you come out and help fight Napoleon? Oh, this place is fucking huge. This is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Oh, wow. Okay, so we need to get the... We need to get to the roof, and we also need to talk to... Um, talk to Fred and make sure that we can... Get everybody in the peasants' quarter nice and available. Okay, right. So I'm just going to assume that these darker... Pa oh, shit. My, my... Okay, my theory has just been disproven. I was just going to say that the darker patches mean nothing on the board game and in real life. But no, there are figments on the dark patches as well. So we literally have to explore every single corner. Oh, wow. This is going to be a nightmare. Okay, um, how about we climb up here? Thank you, Book One Tells for the 100 bits. Oh fuck this is trippy. Okay, so we're in we're in their game now, which is up there, like up to the sky, but it's also going on in here. Oh. I I mean a headache or what? I mean what? I mean jeez. <laughs> Okay, I can't climb up there. Can't smash through it either. So, um... I'm actually going to put levitation on just so I can move a little bit faster. Okay, right. Let's get to the roof. Somehow. So, those things are how we get bigger. Is this out of bounds? Oh, Jesus. It's not even out of bounds. Oh, my God. There could be figments anywhere. I thought this was out of bounds. Oh no. <laughs> no. Oh dear. Okay. All right. I mean, oh dear. Well. Well. So I should probably go and see um
we've got the peasants, we've got the farm. Okay, what happens if I do this? Oh. That probably wasn't going to go down well, was it? Okay, I'm going to... Um, wait, where, where, are the, where are my objectives? How Fred win the battle in his mind. Recruit a present. Um, restore homeless and defense in Fred. Okay, so we probably need to go and see Fred then, in that case, is my assumption. Um, where's the ladder? There it is. Oh my goodness, sorry, I completely... Thanks for the 100 bits, Bookworm Tales. Completely forgot to read your message. Really sorry. Um, just want to say that based on what I've seen and heard in these streams and on, and from the girls and vomit in your videos, I think you're a brilliant parent, Caddy, and I don't want to, I don't give yourself enough credit. I don't give myself enough credit because Keris does basically all of it, that's why. <laughs> Keris is the one that deserves the credit. I, I was lucky, I, I, I joined in, um, after all the, the baby shit was done. Like, when I first met Amy, who's the youngest one, she was already a toddler, so. Oh... Can I put that out? I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's Keris that doesn't get enough credit at all. Those girls are very lucky to have someone like you as their father figure in their life, and I can't imagine, and I can imagine that Keris would agree with me. I don't know, do you, honey? Yeah, she's not listening, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, I, well, that's exactly what I was trying to say, yeah. Everyone's lucky here, yeah. Well, that doesn't work. Let me guess. You give up? Bingo! Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. Yep. Oh! The bag! The bag tag! Yeah! <laughs> right, let's give this to the peasants. Okay, we're being blown up. Help. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We're being blown up. Oh my god. He does care. He does. I knew it. Fred Bonaparte is the greatest leader of all time. I can't wait. It's uh it's the pieces of this game that are hiding in the houses. You might win. We're in a board game right now. Okay. Here they are. Throw my innocent bones into the cruel machine of war. I'm ready. Yay! He's willing to die. That's good. F. Yeah, because he's gonna die soon. F's in the chat. F's in the chat for F. Oh, so now we gotta get bigger in order to move him. Is... Oh my god, leave me alone. Can I fire at you from here? How the hell do I get up there? Um... I'm assuming it's got something to do with um Oh okay. Oh wait, cobweb duster, that's what I needed. Hey! That's the bag tag I just got. Good. So is that it? Okay, cool. Um this music is reminding me a lot of um, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time in the medieval levels. Very, um, very, um, trumpet heavy. Like fanfare-y. Yeah, I don't... I'm not sure how to get through this. Um, but that seems to be the way the game wants me to go. I can't get on the roof, it won't let me. Um, oh, there's a figment. There's a rope going all the way to there. Ah, oh, there's a there's a guillotine. Oh, well, we were in the guillotine earlier. I just didn't think we could climb up it. Wait a second. Can we climb up it? Does this attach to anything? I will find this out, I swear to God. Seems to be where you have to start. What do you get up there? 
Is this attached to something else? Get on the roof, maybe? No, no, no. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Thank you. Oh, wait a second. Wait a sec. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm ready. Oh, fuck. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm dead. Okay. No, I'm not. Let's try that again. I'm ready. Oh, fuck. I'm not ready. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh, I can climb up this. Oh, that's useful. That makes things way easier. Oh, I can't climb up it anymore. This makes things really hard. I take back everything I said. Why are you, why are you letting go? Raz, come on. Okay, just let them bounce for a second. Okay, so we got... Oh, my God. We've got figments everywhere. Okay, wait, let's... Um, I don't want to jump over there just yet, so... Awesome. Oh, there might be figments up there now. No, there aren't. Okay, that's fine. Oh, headless figment. Nice. Oh, who's going? Good night. Oh, sorry. Oh, Jace Brigham. Oh, thank you so much for coming down. Have a good sleep. Oh, invisible. Mm, I think this calls for invisibility. What do you think? <laughs> Invisible Raz gets away with everything. Why can't I fire more than once? Okay, I can. Just not while I'm on the tightrope. Oh, hey, sensors hands. How are you doing? Oh, 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 okay. You want me to go that way and kill you? I can do that. Hey, dude. How are you doing? Die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. That guy needs a fucking haircut. Sorry, I don't know what the hell that was supposed to mean. Um, Anything on top? No. Oh, we got a beef up there. Oh, fuck. I didn't really want to deal with a beef. No! Got long range sensor shit. That's a new one. Um, Well, it's not a new one. They've been, we've been dealing with it for a while, but you know what I mean. Okay. Carpenter's roof. We are on. Great. Get rid of any burglars scampering on the roof. That can also be done. I forget about the lock on. Okay, so... Uh... Okay, so the smoke can pick you up a little bit. Okay, alright, okay. Okay, right. Well, let's get this birdie. Oh, nearly slid down. Nearly had a little slip. Nearly had a slippity pit. Right, what's going on in here then? Fred versus Crispin. Crispin Glover? Deus Fred. Working, working in the mental asylum. Okay. Okay. Waterloo O, Waterloo Zero. That's the game we're playing, I guess. Looks like it. He beat him. And he took all the pieces away. So he's a bad loser. So he loses to someone who he thinks he shouldn't have been able to lose to. And, um... Oh, fuck off. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Rick. Really? I mean... I mean, really? I mean... Oh... Right, let's, try, let's get back up there. Let's just keep trying again. Let's try again until we get it. Oh, I'm not already, I'm not already in ball form. Oh, no, I can, I can glide on these things, can't I? Oh, and there was a sneaky fucking figment in there. Well, I'm glad I redid that anyway. Okay. Ah, Mad Hunter CS is nice to see you. 100 bits. Ah, Le Waterloo. Viva la Revolution. <laughs> okay, right. Let's try this again. 
Okay, right. I'm going to not roll off this time. I'm not... Ah, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, perfect, if I do say so myself. Okay, right. Did I get them all? Uh, looks like I did. Yeah, okay, right. Let's carry... Oh, you hit me in the back, you motherfucker. Only bitches hit people in the back. Even if you got a little spindly leg sticking out. That was a bitch move. Oh, you did it again. Only when I turned my back. All right, let's talk to you again. Okay, you can come out. Burglar's gone. Wow. You're pretty tough for a ventriloquist. Okay, here I come. Just show me where there's some wood to work on, and I'll go to town. Yeah, we got the carpenter. Okay, um, I guess it's now time to start looking around. Yeah, so we ain't gonna cross that. So this is when we've got to start floating around from the back of the peasant's house to the other ends of the board, is my assumption. Oh no, we've got this bit over here as well. We've got like the knife and fork sign thing going on there. Hmm, let's have a look. Knock, knock, bitch! A doctor? No, I'm not sick. I just can't find any decent food around here. An army moves on its stomach, you know. An elite force such as I require an elite cuisine, I'm afraid. All right, get some food. Oh, well, I'll keep on the lookout for some place with good takeout. Only the best, young lad. I am a Frenchman, and anything but the finest French delicacy might bruise my palate. And leave me unable to storm Slugs. Sl snails, snails, not slugs. Yeah. Wow. Hello, everybody. Welcome to What Is That Animal featuring Caddy. What was that? It's a slug. That show didn't last very long. It was cancelled after one episode. Can you guess why? So... Right, let's make... Let's have a little... Oh, no, we're going to grind on the fence because that's normal. Okay, right. How high does this thing bounce? That high, okay. Oh, can we swing on the sign? Oh, it looks like we should be able to. Just need to get the right angle. So if I go into R mode, anything around here? Oh, fucking sneaky. Okay, right. Oh, it, I'm, I'm only doing this because I just don't know where the game's going to fucking hide this shit. Maybe you don't. Yeah, maybe you don't swing on it. Maybe you just do that. <laughs> uh, no, wrong button. This one. fucking figments here because they could be bloody anywhere. Thank you, I taste cringy for the 120 bits. Nice to see you. I had escargot before. Not gonna lie, it smelled and tasted like boiled eggs. The only difference is that I was worried that one of them would start moving on my tongue. Ugh. I gotta be honest, frog's legs are delicious. I will say that. I know, I know that the adage of it tastes like chicken is a bit cliche, but they really do just taste like chicken. Um, because you're in France and you gotta have a frog. <laughs> That's why. I can have chicken at home whenever I want, but I can't have a frog. Little ribbit. Yeah, it's something I'm not going to do again. I tried it, but frogs are too cute. Chickens are cute too, but, you know. If you put, you're going to put a frog against a chicken in terms of cuteness. There's, there's only one true victor. No, 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 no. 
How did I do this before? Where is the finest delicacy anyways? Over there? I, I, how did I do this before? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. No, wrong button. Okay, right. Okay, the ch chimney's over there. There we go. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm just going to sacrifice myself for that one. No, fucking that button. Jeez. Come on, Raz. Okay, I need to I need to get I need to catch the updraft at the right moment. There we go. No. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Okay, okay. Well, it's alright, I can grab that one. If I don't grab that one now, I'm going to forget that it was even Ev there. So, Evan? Oh. It's late. Um, okay, right, let's try. Yeah, boy. Oh, and I touched the water and didn't get scared by a creepy hand groping me. Yeah. Got, it. Got the cobweb. Sweet. swing on that thing. Well, it's getting a bit confusing to tell what I can swing on and what I can't. Jeez, this really is a huge level. Not complaining, it's just big. My ranks have been going up quite fast as well. Good to see. So that's how I get big again, which I don't want to do just yet. Oh, jeez. Is anything along here? There could be figments down here. They could literally be anywhere. Oh! Oh, my God. That scared the... <laughs> I'm not easily startled, everybody. Those spidery peg legs randomly moving after they were still as a statue? That got me. Um, that really got me. I mean, jeez, like... Oh, dear. I mean, what? That was fucking weird. Wow. Okay. Maybe there aren't that many figments out there, maybe. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Oh, maybe not. No, probably, probably not. Okay, so we've got another um, cobweb machine here. Oh, I tried. Right, awesome. Right, let's grab these figments. Awesome. Lots of figments in here, at least. Is that all there is here? No, surely we can swing on these. There we go. Well, that didn't work. Um, let's try again. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to levitate, maybe? Oh, okay. Oh, no, I'm supposed to be able to get up to here. Oh, well, I don't know how I'm supposed to do... Oh, I'm supposed to turn around on the second swing. Ah, uh, oh, well. I broke the game and did it my own way. Yay! Bless you, bless you. No, I didn't get scared by a spider. I got scared by a spidery motherfucking, like, wooden leg machine. Essentially, I got scared by a wardrobe that could walk. So, there you go. That's the wrong button. How do I get around there? Um Oh wait, we have to we have to we have to drop down. Yeah, there we go. 
I forgot we could do this. I've done this so little, I completely forgot we could do it. Well, okay, how do we grab? No, no. How do we grab? No. Thank you. A bit worried there for a sec. Got a maggot. Anyone like a maggot? No, 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 no. Okay, right, what's up here then? No. We go across here. Yeah, see that fucking thing over there? I, they were still like that. No. And then all of a sudden... No. All of a sudden... No. They just did that. That fucking scared the shit out of me. Oh, jeez. They're gonna hit me, aren't they? Uh, that, 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 like, ricochet was such a good upgrade for this fucking thing. Um, anything up here... Not sure. Hey. Oh, that was so fucking close. Okay. How have I not grabbed that figment yet? Oh, well, I did, but I, I thought I'd go straight onto that, but I didn't. I needed to glide. Shit. Okay, let's try that again. At least I know how to get past this bit. Then we twist around. Hey up! There we go. We're up, we're on. Oh, that was close. That was so close. Okay, right down. Well done, Raz. Oh god, there's gotta be a quick way of doing this, isn't there? Can I jump it? Oh dear. I mean, let's try again. I guess that's all I can do. Yeah, we're over. We're over. So we just got to do it the slow way. Um, that's the only way this is going to work, basically. Okay, right. Across here again. Yep, there's the spidery wood horse over there. Right, I bet you there's a fucking... No, there isn't. Okay, that's fine. Right, going to levitation mode. Grab that. Grab the figment. There we go. Nicely done, me. Thank you, me. It's okay, me. That was so close. Holy shit, I was that close from falling off the end of that and going right back to the bottom again. Okay, any other figments up here? Don't want to fuck this up again. Okay. I don't think so. Right, let's, go, let's jump in here then. Oh, we've got a bag tag. Nice. I haven't seen the steamer yet. I know that much. Oh, we have to set that on fire. Okay, nice. Okay, let's put that onto L. We set these on fire as well. Sweet. Okay. Burning slower than the big one, weirdly enough, but I'm not going to question that. Oh, we've got like a half pipe. Oh my god. Just when I thought I was done with Tony Hawk. There we go. I call this move. The bumbling bum fluff. Okay, let's burn that. Burn that. A musket, a musket which is probably for someone else, which I I don't have yet. <laughs> I haven't met that guy yet.
I need to find the delicacy yet. Oh, okay, right. We've got a nice little house over here. The little house on the prairie. What's a prairie, honey? Do you know what a prairie is? Oh. Chat, what's a prairie? I've always wondered. I, I think it's an American thing, which is probably why I don't know what it is. But, like, I don't think we have prairies in this country, so I have no idea what a prairie is. <laughs> Picking up quite a lot of figments. Maybe it won't be as hard to grab all of them as I thought. The only problem is that if we have, like, one missing, that I'll have no idea where it is. Is this the guy that wants the musket? Out bullet shopping. Okay, right. Nothing but grass. Flat, flat vegetation. I see. Well, they made... Okay, well, in all the shows and movies I've ever heard them talking about a prairie, they made it sound really, really, like, exotic and really, like, serene. Not just a load of flat grass. <laughs> Oh. Oh, you're shitting me. Oh, I nearly had that. Like, I, I pictured, like, cottagey, waterfally by a brook or something. Not just a flat bit of land. That's a field, not a prairie. <laughs> there we go. Ammo up. And I got hit. Fuck's sake. Can you kill these things? Because I'm pissed off with them. They're really annoying. I know you can stop them for like a second, but I don't want to stop them for a second. I want to get rid of them. Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Thank you, chat, for letting me know. I would never in a million years had guessed that fire would have done something to them while they're while they're in their shells because you know why their shells are metal oh dear so i don't know guys i don't know i mean if look if the bullets bounce off then why would i have any reason to believe that they would catch on fire I would never have even guessed that. Thank you, but I never would have figured that out in my life. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's a fuse on top of them? Are you shitting me? I thought it was a radio antenna. That didn't look like a fucking fuse. There's no, like, no fuse I've ever seen. Fuses are usually loose and, like, stringy, not fucking sticking out your head like a massive knob. What kind of shit is that? Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, dealing with you, and then, and then i got to go and grab that one. No! Oh, that worked. Can I grab that from here? Probably be able to. If I remember to jump. Um. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. No! Oh my lordy lord. Come on, lord. There we go. I did it. Right, so we're back at the peasants bit. Um, we've got to find the delicacy now. Um, we have cleared that area out, I think. So let's climb back up. Oh, you're kidding me. All this time I was jumping on the trampolines and there was a ladder the whole time. Oh, no. Right, let's grab these. Oh, I always miss one. I always fucking miss one. Right, let's grab it again. Or not. Let's miss it again. <laughs> let's try going up the ladder. Oh, lol, fuck off. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get over. Yep. Yeah. I missed them both again. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Right, let's try this again. On the off the tree. Go. Well, I didn't get anything. Okay. Let's try it from the let's try it from the fence. Let's go from the fence. Come on, come on, come on. Land on the fence. Bounce off the fence. 
I got one. Okay. Yay! Range of telekinesis has been extended, which I'm not really using that much, but that's good. Awesome. Okay, right. Got to get the tippy, 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 tippy top of the jump. Right, there we go. Sorted. Ah, oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, now I'm still grinding on the wood. Like a whore. Okay, where are the... What's the point? <laughs> no! Raz! Oh. Oh, it's my favourite. It's the giant chicken dumpling. What the fuck is this thing doing here? The almighty silver sack. Um, Where's that attached to? Oh, it's the middle of the board? Okay. All right. All right, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Okay, right. So... Oh, I'm going to need to try and grab these ones as well. This is going to be fun. You watch me do this really badly. Oh, you guys will love it. See, I've already got two. Getting the other two won't be a problem, will it? Right? Right? Getting the other two would be fine. It would be easy. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's try again. Okay, tippy, 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 tippy top of the jump. No, right at the edge. Okay, well, that wasn't my fault. You guys saw that, didn't you? Yep. Raz just decided to do a weird glitchy bounce off of the edge of the wood. He didn't even bounce off the trampoline. Yeah, he did that. Right. He did it again! Raz! Are we doing it again? We're going to try it this time? Oh my lord, getting this one's gonna be a pain in the raz. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, mum. Oh, go away. That was my fault. That wasn't my fault. Look at him doing the glitchy bouncing off of the wood. He's not bouncing off the trampoline. See? He's just. Ra he's just. See, that's what he should be doing. Not my fault. Not my fault. Oh, my lord. Oh, hang on. Can you be on the... You can be on the bouncy ball, can't you? Uh... Yeah, I see. I gotta go to the edge, but every time I do... That's what was happening. That was what was happening. See? So I'm not going mad. That was what was happening. Um, I should already be in ball mode, shouldn't I? If I want to have any chance of doing this. Yeah, I need to be in ball mode already. This isn't going to fucking work. Just need to make sure I get this right. Gives me just a tiny bit more height. Oh, come on, Lord. Why? Why have you forsaken me? Guys, why am I struggling with this so much? Why am? Why actually am I struggling with this? I'm really, really lost. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I just need a bit more momentum? No, he's doing the glitchy fucking stupid... <laughs> the fucking... Um... Let's try again. Let's just keep going until we do it. I don't know why they had to put this bit of wood right at the edge of where I need to bounce. That's how we do it in my garden. Yes! I did it. I did it. I did it! And I didn't die. Yes! Good. I did it. I did it. Thank you for the subscription, D DJMG DJMG five nine six. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. And uh, 
alley you. And let's explore down this end. Yeah, that's a pet peeve of mine. I like it when games fix that problem. When you have stairs in a platformer. And unless you're playing something like Toy Story 2 when you're a tiny, tiny toy and you need to jump up the stairs to feel more immersed in the fact that you are a toy. Like, if there's stairs, just let just do that. Just let you walk up them. I like it when games do that. Yeah, unless the stairs are comically big and are supposed to be platformed on. Okay. Oh, we're back here. Back at the bridge. The broken bridge. Okay. But we haven't explored everywhere yet. So this is the other side of the broken bridge. That's where the carpenter is. Yeah, okay. Alright, okay. I see what you're doing. So, let's take ball mode off just so we can... It's good, for, it's good for fast motion, but not very good for precision. So let's just... Oh! Hello, door. Hi. Can't wait for the long-awaited sequel to Psychonauts. Says Reg Connect with 100 bits. I'm very excited for it now. I When I heard it was announced, I was like, oh, cool. Psychonauts is a thing that people like. This is the first time I've ever played it. Um, I've never played it in my life before. So, um... Yeah, now I can safely say I am excited. I wanted to get it out, out, off of my off of my shelf... My backlog, rather, before um, um, the second one came out. Just wanted to be all caught up. I, d I wasn't even listening to what that guy was saying. I'm so sorry. What do you want? Hi. Is this big soldier bugging you? Yes. Right, I've got to tell the soldier to move. Okay, we can do that. Okay, that was my fault. That, To be fair, that was my fault. So, I... I guess the game wants me to climb onto the soldier, maybe? No, okay. I tried. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of you. You stupid cannon firing open legged slut. <laughs> Go away. Yeah, that don't look like any fucking fuse to me. It does when it's lit up, but. Oh, hey, beef. Oh my god, has anyone seen that Aardman short film, um, Aardman, yes. Have, have you, has anyone seen that, um, Stage Fright? Uh, I think that the, the, the villain in that short is called Arnold. He looks exactly like that fuck. look, Google it. Arnold Hughes, I think his name is? I can't remember, it's been a while since I've seen that short. He looks exactly like the beef in, in Psychonauts. Oh, it's the delicacy over here. Sweet. Okay, I'll, I'll remember that. Oh, we've got a trampoline. Okay, nice. That takes me back to the top. Okay, clearly the game wants me to do something with this soldier and this um, gust of smoke over here. So I'm going to figure out what it wants me to do. Oh, I got the figment at least. Hmm. Maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. But then why would it give me the option to fly over there and direct me with the figments? Thank you, Reg Connect, for 100 bits. Does that mean you're going to do a review of Psychonauts? No, it's, it doesn't, no. I'm just going to stream it. I don't do single reviews anymore, I'm afraid. No, that if, if, if it was supposed to be done like that, I wouldn't be sliding off. So let's, let's not do that. Classy one. Guess who's back? Look, what have I missed? Oh, you've missed quite a bit. I mean, we're in the middle of a massive level right now, so, um... Oh, God. You know, if I didn't just instinctively hit that because it looked funny, because it looked like a weird pair of pants, um, I wouldn't have even seen those, um... I wouldn't have even seen those fucking figments there. I would have been that person that had no idea how to get them down. Okay, we're good. If I can 100% this area while I'm here, I'm going to try to. Because I don't think going back through this would be very fun. I won't remember where I'd been, where I'd struggled to get a figment if I left and returned here. It's, it's a bit too open-ended of a level, so... Okay. Let's pick up all the orange butts. Yeah! 
orange butts. Like Trump's. I bet he has an orange butt. Actually, here's a question. Does Trump have an orange butt or does he have a pale white butt that he has to put makeup on otherwise Ivanka won't touch him? Wow, I turned into a bully just then. I guess he kind of had it coming, didn't he? Okay. Oh, there's one there. Right, how do I get all the sneeze? Telekinesis, probably? Set them on fire? Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to set them on fire, but I set them on fire. Run, snails, run. No, I think I've got a telekinesis them, haven't I? Okay, um... Let's switch over... The marksmanship with um, telekinesis. There we go. Oh, look, it's Nathan. Thanks for the 100 bits. I feel like we are friends even though I, you don't know I exist. Good job on YouTube, man. Ah, thank you. I mean, yes, obviously I don't know you. But if you feel like that, then I guess I'm doing a good job. So thank you. Okay, snails. It's time to serve the cards. These streams especially so were just supposed to be me chilling out, playing all the new stuff and playing my backlog that I didn't have a chance to play for the main channel while... Well, yeah... Yeah, I, I, you forget that even though playing games is what you do for a living, you don't actually play games 80% of the time. So I want to bring that back and be able to make it a sustainable way of um, um, supporting the family while I was making the bigger long form videos. Good. Yeah, you do it. Yes. You go for it. Move the snail piece to the restaurant so the hearty knight can have a decent meal. Okay, so this is when i got to go big again, isn't it? Um, but I'm going to sort out all my tiny duties first. Um, because that just makes sense to me. Um... How many? Oh, 207 out of two. Okay, I'm actually further ahead than I thought I was. Okay, I remember where that, um, I do remember exactly where that, um, one of the bags is. So I think I'll just sort that out before I forget about it forever and then go insane. Okay, right. I think it was down here. Pretty sure it was anyway. It's like a little KB system area bit over here somewhere. It wasn't this one, was it? No, it was... It was somewhere. It definitely was somewhere. No, it was in the... It, no, it was up there, wasn't it? It was in the tower. I think it was anyway. Ah, oh, invisibility. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's in this tower here, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. There we go, blue bag. You're easily the saddest one. I find not just because you're blue. <laughs> But because um, you just look the saddest, you're the, I think the, you're the cutest one to me. I, I do love the blue bag. It's very cute. The classy one, 100 bits. Thank you so much. How are you and Keris doing anyway? Yeah, we're doing good, thanks. We're doing thanks. We're doing good. We're doing thanks good. We're doing good, thanks, classy. Keris has tra um, trapped wind, TMI. But yeah, she, yeah, she's doing okay. And I haven't got trapped wind and I'm doing fine. There 
we go. I haven't been to that castle area yet. I'm going to go over there now. Maybe that's where all the final bits and pieces are. I'm going to guess that's where the final bag is as well. Okay, you're still out bullet shopping. Okay. Oh, hello. Yeah, that looks like a radio antenna to me. It does not look like a fuse. I also don't have trapped wind and doing fine, says Classy One, 100 bits. Thank you so much. Oh, the old way we used to get rid of your trapped wind. Yeah, running around the living room while Ace of Spades played in the background. Yeah, we put on Motorhead's Ace of Spades, the album, and we just had you running around bending over until until the fart happened. Yeah, and then you were fine. And if Lemmy can't make you fart, then what can? God rest his soul, bless him. I genuinely thought he was going to live to be like 110. I thought nothing could kill that dude. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these guys first. Oh my god, they're so irritating. Get, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, no, 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 this isn't working. Go! I think I'm going to get blown up. No, I'm okay, I'm okay. Jeez, the splash damage. Can I do it in time? Can I make it? Can I make it? Okay. I was above that, I think. I think that was a bit cheap, but okay. It's fine. Not too far back. Not too far. I can deal with that. And I can pick up my other life. Awesome. Which I probably wouldn't have been able to pick up anyway, so that's actually quite useful. Oh my god, they're fucking everywhere. That's what you get for not being beefy. Okay, right. Um, I should probably check the floor, actually, saying that. I'll, I'll check the floor before I do anything else. Oh, here's a beef. Where did I go? I haven't used invisibility in um, combat before. Okay, it's not actually that useful. Can I set you on fire? I can! I haven't set an enemy on fire before. Oh god, everyone's on fire. <laughs> oh no. Well, oh, hey. At least we know it's a boy now. Um... Okay. I'm doing very badly right now. Yeah, okay. Yes, all right, beef. All right. Yeah, not a fan of the locking on dodging system. If it was more, like, invincibility frame heavy, then uh, yeah. But thanks for telling me to stop, everybody. <laughs> thanks for thank you. Uh, sometimes you need to know. Ah, there's the bag. Sweet. I've sorted out all the emotional baggage. Good. Ah, come on. We must be nearly there with all the fragments and shit. All emotional baggage sorted. Awesome. I need to check out those primal memories. I actually haven't looked at any of them yet. Right, how many more fragments are there? Fig figments, sorry. How many more figments are there? Okay, there's about, oh yeah, uh, 18? I'm reading that as 18. I can't do math at um, one in the morning, so sorry about that, guys, <laughs> if I got that wrong. Oh, there's a load over here. There's a math massive gang of them over here. Can't get, can't get enough of them. Yeah, I think I'm, before I do anything, I am going to try and 100% this area before we leave. Because going back through all of this is going to be a nightmare. So if I miss anything, then you're just going to have to suffer with me until we can find out what the problem is. Okay, where do I go then? Um, is that all we can do here? I don't think it shouldn't be. Hmm. No, I've got to go to the castle, haven't I? I've got to go inside it. Oh! Oh, there's some figments. 
that's a bit sneaky. Okay, okay. Oh, there's a cobweb up there. Oh, okay, I need to remember to go there as well. Oh, you all alone? All your friends gone? Well, wouldn't it be a shame if I... Set you alight? Wouldn't it be a shame if I... Started a fire? That was better. I set myself on fire. Shit, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm not. Okay, that was good. That was good. Good. That, I like that. I like that. That's fine. Okay, one there. Ooh, that's very fucking sneaky down there. Ah, some more safes. Some vaults, rather. Okay, what are we talking about here with Fred? Fred versus Napoleon. So he kept on losing to Crispin, who is insane. So he must have got quite upset. And he himself started going a little crazy. And he started seeing Napoleon in the mirror. Then the, the multiple personalities took over. Jeez, everyone here is really just deranged, aren't they? They're so, I'm so, I feel so sorry for them. It's not a case of like laughing at them. It's more a case of like, like, oh my God, bless them, you know? Like, they're, they're, it's, there's so much shit goes wrong for all these characters that it's almost comically over the top, but in an endearing way. It's, it's, um, it's unique. Got it. Yay, I've got all the cobwebs, but I still haven't got all the figments. This is, um, uh, this is worrying. Uh... So, how many more f figments are there? Okay, so there's nine missing. So, I've clearly just missed out a giant ass area somewhere. I don't know what else it could possibly be. Or it's something to do with this castle. I mean,. Hmm. I'm really not sure. Okay, well, let's go bigger again. Because there's probably some more things that happen um, later on. Oh, yeah, honey, that's fine. Telekinesis my, is my bet. Yeah, so you fix the bridge. Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Don't worry, darling. I'll get you fixed up good as new in no time. Wow. He's talking to his wood like he talks hey, to his wood. I feel good. Mm. Awesome. Right, so then we need you to go... I can't remember, but we need to bring the... Um... Oh, maybe we go over here? Maybe we go over here? Oh, can we not? Mm, can we jump? Can we jump over that that bit of water? No, okay. So we can only use the bridges is what I'm guessing. Oh, Mount Dew Tasty. Mountain Dew Tasty, I'm supposing. Hey, Caddy watching from Hong Kong. Love your videos. Thank you so much. Yeah, is Mountain Dew tasty? I don't think so, but I'm glad you do. I'm, I'm glad you do because um, it takes a lot to um, label yourself over something that lots of other people might not like. And I do not like Mountain Dew at all. I don't. I, I did try it, but I didn't. I didn't quite get it. I gotta be honest. But holy shit, Hong Kong! Take that! Die! I kill you! Sacre bleu! Yes. You have accidentally done something right. I have? Yes, but I'm afraid it's still not enough. More manpower! Oh, mon dieu. I hate bridges. Ah! So this guy that was going um, um, bullet shopping is probably the next one we need to um, call hey, on now. stop killing my bridges. You're making me mad. Uh, we've got some more people down here to talk to. Okay, 
how do we get you over there is the question. Um, I think we just need to do a lot of... Yeah, we need to get rid of this thing as well. In which case, I think I've exhausted every possibility of where, um where these figments could be, so fuck knows where they are. I have no idea. Uh, let's try over here. I don't think I looked behind this dam. Thank you, Chris Carlisle Rocks the World for 100 bits. Hi, Cuddy. Long time fan ever since your top 20 PS1 games videos. Jesus, that was a long time ago. Um, just wondering if I get your thoughts on the PS2 Ratchet and Clank games. Yeah, they're great. I like them a lot. I can't really say much about them, honestly, because I didn't... Uh, I, I grew up with Sly, I didn't grow up with Ratchet, so I can say a lot more about Sly than I can with Ratchet. Oh, fucking hell. These figments could be anywhere. They could actually be anywhere. Is there, like, a... Oh, fuck. I'm just thinking if there's, like, maybe a, an obvious area I haven't been to yet. everywhere here. Well, I've got a nice bit of momentum there. Jeez. Flew across the screen. Um... Okay, I've gone everywhere around. Nothing on this dam here. Or bridge, whatever the hell you want to call it. Okay, maybe I maybe I just need to. Yeah, I think Ben's right. One chop, I think, is correct. I think I just need to continue on and see what happens. So, um, yeah, I, I I mean, I'm pretty sure I got all of them as I was going. To be completely honest, so we'll we'll just keep going and then we'll see what happens. So, right. So now, what do I do? Um, Ah, yes, I need to go and give that to the fucking guy who's hungry, don't I? Um, okay, alright, so... This is such a cool idea for a level. So he's the other guy that I need um, to delete, defeat the guy at the castle, I guess. Gibby lol, thanks for the hundred bits. Caddy, leak your you. <laughs> Caddy, leak your you twos for the boys. What? No. I'd love that, but no. I haven't been lucky enough yet. So, what do you, what can you do? Oh my god, there's a missing one here. Okay, so... Okay, these missing figments could be anywhere then. That has just proven once and for all that they could be anywhere. Oh dear, this is bad. Okay, so, um... Yeah, he's got to go fighting. Um... I'm not sure who... We didn't speak to these guys yet, did we? So let's speak to these guys. Wherever the fuck the door is. Um. Oh my god, there's a figment up there. Are you joking? Oh my god. Guys, we're gonna... There's another one there. And another one there. Oh my god, are they all in the trees? I mean, that'd be nice if they are, but I doubt it. Have I got to jump on top of the trees? Or do I just do more smacking? Oh, I do more smacking. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. They could be anywhere. Oh, dear. That's bad. <laughs> that's not good. Wait, so... Uh, why, why is there a... What? There were, like, um... There were like um, little exclamation marks above that bit. Maybe I need to go and talk to someone in here. Right, yeah, this is this is a place I haven't been to yet. Okay, let's go in here. Hi. So now that the guy is gone, I'm recruiting for Fred Bonaparte's army, and Fred really cares. What's the pay? What? I mean, this works hazardous. I want hazard pay. Well, 
I could talk to Fred. Not for me, you understand. I have to take care of my family once I'm killed. What's all this talk of death? We're going to win. Yeah, right. You just come back when you get Fred to pay up. Sounds fair to me. So go big again. <laughs> Find a way to secure the financial future of the poor peasant's family. <laughs> I don't think I'd be playing a game with that as the mission, but here we are. Great shit. Okay. So it's time to recruit some more troops. Hey, no problem. I'll just write up some more I care notes. How about writing a check, actually? Building an mm. army is going to cost us a little. I don't really have any money. Sorry well, if you find it I gross, the really nail-biting guys. Coin. My nails grow really crooked and I have to just kind of Whatever. chew really the, the spiky bits that down. stick out. Otherwise, I'm going to scratch what? deep into my skin. I needed more weight in my Pinewood Derby racer. Not that it would have helped the way I lost. Big surprise there. How do I put that out? Oh, I just grab it. <laughs> I figured that would just... I thought that would be too hot to grab. I got enough memories of my dumb ancestors hanging around. Yay! Right, jump back in then. Hey, check out this coin I found. A priceless Bonaparte family heirloom. You can have that. It's worth. Yep, I will have it. Thank you very much. Okay. Um. Right. Let's go over to here and give the coin to them. I'm recruiting for Fred Bonaparte's army, and Fred really cares. What's it pay? Hey, check out this coin I found. Money. Oh man. Well, I'm off to die in battle, dear, for an incompetent leader who'll never know my name. <laughs> Okay, you know how, like, you have those really terrible, dated boomer comedians that always make, like, oh, the wife jokes, my wife's shit, my wife sucks. Like, the reason that they're shit jokes isn't just because, it's because of how, it's, be it's, it's because of how bluntly, like, not because of how blunt they are, but because of how bluntly, like, like aggressive they are and forceful there's not really any kind of joke as much as my wife is a bitch and it's like after you hear the same joke so many times you think well why the fuck don't you just leave her then and, it's, and then you get a joke like that where it's like oh yeah I'm, I'm kind of willing to die because my wife's gone nuts with with her hobbies like that's just that's just stupid and he's actually going to go and die so it's like the joke follows up there's a punchline to it so it's like it's not just a random statement of I hate my wife it's just Oh. oh dear, apparently I'm racist, according to somebody there. Oh dear. What did I do that was so racist, guys? Uh... Oh, there's some more there. Are you kidding me? Um, How do we get up there, then? I don't even know if, um, oh, Jesus, so I must be now missing, like, two. I'm missing one figment. Guys, guys, I'm missing one figment. What am I going to do? Where are they? No. <laughs> Where is it? I have to, I have to get it. I, I can't leave this level without getting this one figment. Let's just think, where could it be? Let's just think logically. <laughs> Do we think it might be in the forest? I mean, it might be. Are you gonna talk to me yet? Hello? I'm recruiting. Go 
away. I'm not coming out till the soldier's gone. I'm unarmed. Okay. Um, he left. He said he had to go to the bathroom and, and he left. I mean, I smacked all the trees, so there's a fairy one in the forest. The one in the window outside the map. Can you read this goddamn comment, Caddy? Oh, uh, we're not having this discussion again, guys. You can see how fast the chat is moving. If I don't see your message, it's not because I'm ignoring you. If you're going to take it personally, I don't know what to tell you. Chat's moving fast. I'm playing a game. I'm sorry I'm missing messages. I can't do both at the same time. I'm really sorry. Okay, so... Um, yeah, there are a few mods in the chat, yeah. Is there anything, any obvious? Okay, mm. I'm going to double check up here and then I'll come back down. Oh, do you know what? Hey, shut up, Sprinkles. How's it going? I didn't realize, um... I didn't realize... Wait a second. I'm sorry. I'm so Hopefully the game won't crash. If it crashes, I'm going to cry. I'm just going to quickly turn you into a mod, actually, saying that. Now that I've sinned. Why have we got a file... No, why have we got a file explorer out? Where are you, shut up, Sprinkles? There you are. How do we... How do we mod you? There we go. I think. How do we do? How do we do? Blo I can only block or what? Um, how do what mod? I think. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait. Mod. Shut up, sprinkles. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I thought I could do it from the. I thought I could do it from the from the, like clicking on the names, but yeah. No, I I've seen you so many times. Shut up, sprinkles over Twitter and everything. Um, yeah, you're you're great. Um, I, I I trust you. I trust you with dealing with rowdy people. Thank you. Thanks for taking that up. But there you go. Oh, thank you for automatically pausing my game. That's very kind of you. Um, maybe something in the clock. Figment in the clock. Figment on top of the clock. Figment in the bookcase. Figment. Um, fig, ugh, figment. I am not shocked, but you should know for future reference that small people do mm, not enjoy yeah, we got, we... up as if they were children. I am an emperor. I am king. Yeah, no, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. Okay, so it's they're all in here somewhere. They're all in here somewhere. Oh shit! Whoopsie. Um. I forgot to put my, um, sorry, I'll be right back, sorry. Um, yeah, I've got to get my recent events up, otherwise I can't see who cheered and everything. Yeah, all done. Right, let's carry on. Ah, uh, okay, right, um. Yeah, there's probably one just lounging around in the forest somewhere, so, um. How do we move this fucking thing out of the way? Man, this salt shaker is totally in the way. I'll bet the real Napoleon Ah, nice, 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 nice. Okay, right. I didn't realize we could just pick it up and throw it. Okay, I'm going to check this forest again one last time, just in case. Yeah, we've hit that tree. Hit that tree. Hit that tree. No, I've done that. Done that. Done that. Done that. Done that. Yep, I hit all of those trees. Confirmed. Okay, right. And I've been through this foresty area, but then the figments are so thin, like, I could have just easily gone past one and not even realized it. So, were there, is anyone else in this bit? The Great Forest. The Great Deco Tree. <laughs> um... So there's a fairy in one of these trees here, then, is what people are saying, right? The big old forest out of bounds-ish by the apple trees, which is around here somewhere. And so I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm... I, I Like, if anyone had any idea where this one fig... There's the bastard! We've done it. 
So even with the help of the chat, I still would have needed to have known to go that way. So I don't think that was too much of cheating there. There was no way anyone could have given me the exact location. So thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, I did miss a cobweb in, in with Gloria. Yeah, you're right. I got everything else except the co No, no, I did get all the cobwebs, I think. Oh, maybe I didn't. I don't fucking know. We'll, co we'll clean up um, later on. I'm just glad I got this shit sorted. So have we actually got everything? Yeah. So now we just need to do the actual gameplay shit. Okay, so we'll smash this up. Up we go. Right, let's do this. So Carpenter needs to come over here. So you can move there. Why not? You can go over there. Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Don't worry, darling. Get you fixed up good as new in no time. Man, I feel good. Mm. <laughs> um. Uh, okay. I can also confirm as I'm um, coming from somebody who um. Oh, can oh yeah, musket versus musket. That'll work, won't it? There we go. Fight. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can confirm coming from a family of carpenters, they do talk about their own work in a very, very similar way. What? Like, holy shit, look what I did. Oh my god. Carpentry is actually kind of, um, it's like, you, you got builders and bricklayers and stuff, but carpentry kind of encompasses everything together, along with making shit from scratch. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of pride that goes into carpentry. Okay, so now we've got this dude to deal with. Um, another peasant to fight the new soldier. So he's got a knife and he's got a bayonet. Uh, maybe that will work? Let's let's see. Um, I'll grab you. You can go right over there. I would love to slay that enemy soldier. But I am afraid I must save all of my energy for the stronghold. I have only eaten enough to last me through one great struggle, you see. Great, so... Can he not even... Right. So he has to go one one at a time? No. Okay. Well, he's moving now. Or is he just not going to fight that guy? Is that what, is that the problem? He's not going to go and fight that guy. Right. So he's... No, he's not going to fight that guy. Okay. So I need to get... I need to get that dude out of the house, don't I? Okay. Right. Let's talk to him. Soldiers for the army of the caring and generous oh. Fred Bonaparte. Oh, bad back. Weapon. What? Weapon. That's what I want. Yep, I got a musket. I'm die like the others, okay? That's the spirit. You get me my special musket, and I'll come out. I think I left it buried. Yep, I did, and I've got it for you. Well, you did, and I've got it for you. Yep, right <laughs> be right back. Here it is. Okay, there's your special musket. Ready? All right, now I'm all set to go rob that stupid carpenter. What? <laughs> I got you that gun so you could fight Napoleon's army, not the carpenter. I've been trying to break into his house for days now, but he's always got a fire going, so I can't get down his chimney. He's well, the burglar. Did you just fight this one lousy soldier first? He's kind of in the way anyway. Okay, but just as practice. Incredible. Where is he? This is one of those rare, like, rare circumstances where, like... Like if Sponge, like SpongeBob, um, Battle for Bikini Bottom, that was fun. Like that was a fun game. I gave it an eight. Like, uh, like playing it through, I was like, this is a solid collectathon. I like this. This is fun. Um, but like there was, but like the the flaws were still kind of flaws. And if this was very much like the same kind of atmosphere as SpongeBob, I probably would be s sitting on an eight right now as well. But the fact that it is so funny and it and it and the characters are so strong. That kind of glides over a few of the floors to make me not really worry about them too much. It's how all the elements work together. I kill you. But I how? 
Retreat! Everyone into this I figured killing the carpenter would be a bad idea because if he disappeared, then I don't know what the hell I would have done. Hey, you can't jam the gears. That's cheating. All is fair in love and war. You have fought well, but that's as far as you shall go, my friend. Ha! We'll see about that. Red? Is that you? Yeah, come on, we're winning. All we have to do is unjam Hey, Alice leaders. of Wonderland. I'm on it, General. Free the gears and lower the drawbridge to Napoleon's stronghold. Nice. So this is what I probably should have done ages ago, isn't it? Like, I probably already have basically done this. <laughs> Let's go and see. There we go, right. This reminds me a lot of Sly 3. There's the there's the thing with, um, there's the World 3, I think it is, with the Baron. And um, there's like a, a, a big old castle stronghold in the middle of the map. This, this reminds me a lot of that. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I made it. Woo! Okay, right, let's do this. I'm just gonna assume we can. Yeah, there we go. I right, need to get the final bit. There we go. Just need to move him over, and we are done, done, done. So we could just move him in one big old fucking move to the stronghold. There we go. <laughs> Your walls are no thicker than the crust of a creme brulee. Behold the mighty tapping of my spoon. <laughs> what? What is this? Fred! Did you do this? Huh? What? I can't believe it! You! You are a Bonaparte! There is some Napoleon in your veins after all! Well, m maybe. Finally! I can resign myself back to my glorious history. The future is yours, Fred Bonaparte. You are indeed a true warrior. Go forth and fight all your battles with the same determination you showed here, and your life will be an endless parade of victories, like mine. Yes, well, except for that last one, the one in Waterloo. Mm, I was sick that day. Very bad stomach cramp, let me tell you. That's why I've always got my hand tucked in here, you know? <laughs> You'll find out when you're older. It's uh, hereditary. Oh goodness, I'm jumping to the chat again and someone's talking about spamming. Who's Is he really gone? Who's spamming, Hello? guys? Come Hello? on, don't spam. Anyone else in here? <laughs> That's one of the few rules I have when you click on this chat, so you're either ignoring it deliberately, which makes you a bit of a dick, or you can't read, in which case I don't know how you can type, so I'm gonna go with probably being a little bit of a dick. I don't know. So just don't spam, okay? Nap? <sighs> War is hell, Rasputin, and I am sleepy. Uh, I'll take care of Crispin for you, just as soon as I... I am. Oh. And we've got multiple mods in there as well. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. I think we're good. I think we're good to do a raid. I think we're good to do a raid. I think we'll save the game twice, like we always do, and we shall. We shall do a little bit of a raid. How long have we played so far? You 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 don't realize like when you're when you're streaming it and you're talking with everybody, the game time goes on longer. So, <laughs> anyway, let's have a look. Uh... Oh, there's a VR Psychonauts game. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Oh, that's cool. That that's cool. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a Psychonauts VR game. I thought that 
it was um yeah i thought it was just a um <sighs> yeah i thought it was just the first one and the second one huh yeah i'll check that out wow awesome anyway let's find some let's find someone to raid uh <laughs> I need to boot up Twitch because I've got like the Twitch chat open as a separate um uh... Oh Jimmy's streaming. Oh we should probably we should probably raid Jimmy, bless him. We should raid we should raid Jimmy Wetzel. Let's let's fucking do it. Wetzel's pretzels, let's do it. My hidden block boy. Well, X hidden block boy. Yeah, let's do it. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for joining, guys. It's been another great fucking stream. Thank you so much for coming down. And um, I will see you on Wednesday a little bit earlier. Uh, follow me on Twitter and shit so you can get um, a good idea. But I'm, I'm going to be streaming the PS5 shit, and that's going to be my stream. So, um, yeah, I'll see you then, I suppose. Thanks, everybody. See you later.